but thank you for this special time you have given us. This is the third day of our celebration. And thank you for your presence. You are really a good God all the time. And thank you for our YYCI family, our CEO, founder, and also Brother King Lucas, our all team, including moderators, patron, matron, and speakers, co-authors, and everyone who participated. So bless everyone, Lord. We need you, Lord. We are need of your peace. We are need of your truth and love. Because your love is unconditional love. We need your love, which is unfailing love. Thank you, Lord. Bless our Yes You Can International family. We are one and give us wisdom. Give us strength. We need your power of love. We ask your power of unconditional love. Thank you, Lord. I also pray for our children and everyone who participated. Thank you, Lord. Bless us, Lord. We need you, Lord. Make all of us instrument of peace. Give us yeah, your you. blessing, Please Lord. Stop. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now you can see my face, uh, Professor Nada. And I oh, want to yes, you. and you are looking so beautiful. And beautiful. <laughs> but today, this rose and this is green, I think the symbol of Nigeria. Nigeria, green and white. Yes, Nigeria. Yes. So let us congratulate to our great uh, Professor Charles and to whole Nigeria team. Yes. So we celebrate a great day, 63 years of uh, independence in Nigeria. We God bless them. God bless us all. God continue to uphold us and give us the give all our our government of wisdom to be able to lead us to the next level. And uh, we pray that uh, every other things that we put in place will be perfect in Jesus' name. We also pray that every disturbances and disagreement among the people of Nigeria will be solved. And we pray that we have a better understanding of what life is and how we can take this nation to the next level and also how we can make sure that the place is safe for everyone to move around. There is food for all and there is uh, um, inf good infrastructure. We also want to pray that there will be unity, there will be love and there will be peace. In Jesus' name, we'll pray for Nigeria today and all other countries that are doing their Independence Day today. May God bless you all. Thank you so for all my wonderful, great, great leaders on my platform of YYCI for allowing us to celebrate Nigeria today with our anthem and also just to talk about it. So I want to say thank you so much for permitting us to do that. Okay, we are moving on. And I believe our first our first duty this morning, we have a lot to do today, um, but we will try to keep up the time. But I cannot guarantee that we will finish before two o'clock because we have a lot to do. Um, so let's go straight to, the, to our first 
item on uh, today. And I guess, Professor Mario, you are driving. And you are giving us opening speech. So yes, what yes. can we do? Are you going to stop your driving so that you can? Or I, I can just, I can deliver it even I'm driving, okay? No, 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 we don't want that. No, 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 I can it, okay. Sure? I can do that. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay, all right. So we welcome His Excellency Prince Professor Mario C. Lozerio to give us his opening speech. Okay, a pleasant morning, afternoon, evening to each and everyone. Mabuhay from the Philippines. We just uh, attended mass this afternoon here in our Harvest Church and it's the beginning of October. And in the Philippines, we have observed that October is the month of rosary, okay? But of course, for the three-day activity, uh, you started on the 29th of September. I'd like to congratulate, of course, our African queen, Professor Dr. Elizabeth, for her initiative. I really had missed you yesterday with my opening remarks. But again, I'd like to welcome you all for this successful endeavor. I hope that Queen Elizabeth will continue to inspire each one uh, because of her book and also to those who have contributed to the success of this particular book. And uh, it's our third year anniversary. I hope that we will have more anniversaries to celebrate. And in the first video I have watched that the African Queen will be also having some special awards to be given to some esteemed individuals. And I hope that she will continue to inspire people, to motivate people, to work on, to, to probably share good leadership. And I would also would like to welcome all the dignitaries who are present this afternoon. I would like to congratulate you for the success of the activity and we shall work hand in hand for the betterment of our country, for the betterment of the world, and for the betterment of Yes, You Can International. With that, a pleasant morning, afternoon, evening to each and everyone. Thank you so much. And uh, we really appreciate your time. Just, uh, I'll have to advise you to drive carefully. And this is our professor, um, the YYCI Director of Philippines and also the advisory board member of YYCI. Um, Professor Mario is also the founder and chairman of Lead Philippine. He's a great leader in the midst of education and also is the um, ordained or the crown prince. So we want to say thank you so much for joining us this morning and given an opening speech. So please drive safely and may God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Okay, we need to move on now. And I will, and I will just want to express my gratitude to everyone that have joined us today. And Professor Mario, Bishop Nelson Pavers, uh, Professor Nada, thank you for joining us, Ambassador Azagil. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my ambassador Sonatan Ghosh from India, um, our sister Eva Nelson from Australia, um, Ambassador Saima Pavas, Dr. Sabina Evelyn, and Ambassador Kushkil. I believe that because today is Sunday, so which is permitted, many people are having their first prayer in their churches, even my husband as well. And so um, they will join us later and they will pray for us as well as we pray for them because <laughs> prayer is not too much. We keep on praying and celebrating and also fellowshipping with others. So that is why few people will not join us yet, but they will join us later. Happy third anniversary. Today is the grand finale of this great amazing weekend celebration. And I want to express my gratitude to all my moderators and chairpersons 
they've done very well. They've really, really done very well. And I want to appreciate them. Thank you so much for the great work that you have done since. Right, we need to move on now. They are still coming, but Professor Nada is here fully earlier <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> to, yes, yes, to yes. lead us on. Yes. So again, I would like Professor Nada to introduce herself so that we can move on. Uh, very good morning. Uh, greetings from Croatia. Uh, I, Professor Nada Radkoc, first want to thank uh, Dr. Queen for this uh, opportunity and to be a part of Yes You Can International Family. This is the third year anniversary. And you see yesterday, day before, three day celebration because one day we it, it is not enough for the celebration and also i can say that we can celebrate cold a month because we have here so many co-authors so great publication great story great articles and we have a great big yes you can international family and we want to thanks to our dr queen elizabeth lucas for bringing us and giving us this opportunity to be a one beautiful family uh, and to be together and uh, do this what we what our great Dr. Queen is doing for the world. We can say she is an inspiration. She is a motivation to all of us and to all to all educators, to all entrepreneurs, to all the youth around the globe. Because what she is doing, what, what, what's her mission, vision, sharing the positive nuggets of wisdom to our youth. There's so many youth who, who are working with our Dr. Queen. She is helping today. Today is a independent day of Nigeria. You know, so many youth from Nigeria is educated and is helped by our Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas. And this year and years before, we have so many conferences, so many master classes, so many, uh, so many books are written on this topic because relationships, uh, positive transformation, transformation leadership, education, that are the topic what today are for all of us very important. Still, because we are living in a very hard time, positive mindset, uh, transformational leadership, how to transform ourselves. We are always starting from us. If I need to transform myself first, if I want to help somebody and Dr. Queen is doing that. This whole year, this whole, every month we have big conferences. Every month we have so many master classes with our experts who are sharing knowledge, who wants to help relationships in the in the team, relationships in the leadership, relationships in, with the money. So there was no topic that we didn't in the team. No, uh, with with your husband, with like a couple. So with your children, with your family. Uh, some sometimes you are not sure. So sharing and talking and getting so many advices and giving your advices. You know you are helping people around the globe. You are helping uh, our youth, especially today when we know that uh, these generations are coming. This this Z generations are coming. Uh, from the different uh, from the different era, this five zero era, this era with the new emergency technology is different. Is a different era, and especially we need to adopt this to our youth, uh, help them to struggle. Because I can say that life today is really struggling. You need to fight for for that and give the opportunity for the education to all the youth around the globe and Dr. Queen is really doing that and yes you can international because is the leader for the youth. Uh, Professor Nada didn't uh, didn't introduce herself. Uh, I'm coming from Croatia. Uh, I'm an educator, I'm a professor, I'm an author, I'm a writer, I'm a reviewer, I'm a uh, I am 
everything all in one if you want to know uh, working on the university uh, the faculty of economics business tourism split a professor in a high vet school uh, making trainings making education in the center of excellence in Croatia uh, before two days uh, I can say I'm a multi-awarded educator uh, before two days I get uh, 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 get a big award for me, the biggest uh, in Croatia. Uh, five years, uh, five years. I'm one of the most best uh, uh, professor in my country. Uh, here on the global level, uh, I'm a co-founder of International Internship University, uh, president of Research Center, uh, country director Croatia. Uh, I'm a core member uh, for ICVP also for the principles. I'm a co-founder and, and here with Dr. Queen. I'm from the first day uh, and I'm really proud to be the, to be a part of family of Yes, You Can International because if we want to do something first, we need to say to ourselves, you need to do that and you can do that and then yes we can this yes we can means that you are never alone you are never alone we have our great dr queen we have her royalty her husband yesterday he was with us uh, well you know uh, you need to watch this uh, videos if you you were not with us yesterday and day before uh, because uh, uh, when you listen, uh, when you listen, uh, one of the one of the couple, like a, like a husband and a man, and this is from our great Dr. Queen, her husband, uh, you will hear the words what it means to be loved, to love somebody, to have a positive. So it is not easy to make a healthy relation, but. When you see that our great Dr. Queen, her husband, and so many here who are to, who are these days with us have the faith, have the love, have the commitment. So think about that. Today, so many divorces. Today, nobody don't have a feeling for, uh, for nobody. So why we have so many divorces all around the globe? Why our youth, why our children need to pay because their parents today have don't have faith, have don't have love, have don't un have understanding. So living in this hard time, why? Are, why are still some people doing that problems for the youth? This is this is really important. So please watch all these conferences because there were so many educators, entrepreneurs, change makers, change makers talking about this. Maybe you find a solution for your problem because today we all have problems but the problem biggest is that people don't solve their problems they are solving other problems you need to first start in your home so look around you maybe your son maybe your daughter maybe your husband your mother father don't have a smile ask yourself why because maybe you don't pay attention for your family. You pay attention for others. So start pray, always a pray. We, we, we start every evening with a prayer. We start everything. And we are not praying only for ourselves. We are praying for everybody, for everybody to find a peace in the heart, peace in your soul, love share the love share the peace because if you don't have the positive vibes then you are making a big problem not only to you to everybody to everybody around you so dr queen professor nada can talk till tomorrow we will have time <laughs> we will I have know. time all day <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for um, starting off with this, our great event today. We also want to seize the opportunity to thank the Professor um, Dr. Mario for opening the event for us today. He's on his way home, I think, from church. 
and all from church and from home to church. And he has already blessed us this morning as our YYCI director of Philippine. We also want to appreciate um, Professor Nada. She's been a good friend to myself. And she's also the co-founder of International Intensive University and also the president of IIU Research Center. She also from Croatia and she started with us on Friday as the chairperson of this occasion, uh, together with um, Ambassador Dr. Aika Mahaja and Dr. Ediana, and also Dr. Joel Olaniyo. They are all going to join us very soon. As we all know that today is Sunday, and today is also the first Sunday of the month, and it's also Nigeria, where I originated from, is also Independence Day today. So that is how we've really been enjoying ourselves since uh, morning. So thank you so much for joining us. I want to acknowledge some of our great leaders among us before we move on. I want to thank um, Professor Dr. Ruben Gessia from Peru. Thank you, sir, for joining us today. Um, Ambassador Sonatan Ghosh from India, thank you for joining us today. Um, Dr. Stephen Kama from Pakistan, thank you for joining us today. Dr. Samina Evelyn from Pakistan, Dr. Kush Gill from Pakistan, um, Ambassador Saima Pavas, originally from Pakistan, the sister to our bishop, and she is also with me here in United Kingdom. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you for your hospitality when I came to visit you. Also, we want to appreciate uh, Miss Eva Nelson from Australia. Thank you for joining us. Ambassador Azagil, thank you so much for joining us. Ambassador Azagil is our director now for um, Pakistan, uh, YYC Pakistan, while Bishop is our overall president of Pakistan and Australia. Thank you so much, sir, for your commitment. Also, I would like to also surprise um, Professor Nada. Professor Nada is now our president in Croatia. So thank you so much for your commitment. And also, I'm going to surprise. Um, thank you. I'm going to surprise our wonderful um, leader as well, uh, Professor Dr. Ruben Garcia is also our president for Peru. Thank you so much, because today is also our great celebration. So we are appointing new, uh, those people that are still with us, they can still be with us with their position, but we are just adding more to it and also promoting some. So we are issuing the letter um, just probably this week or next week, if you can bear with us, because we, are, we have a lot to send out. So you will receive your letter of appointment. So thank you for accepting. I know it's a surprise, but um, Professor Ruben has always been with us. He's been teaching. He's been teaching us on master classes. Um, if you can see his sign of smile, you will know he is the one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not new in our midst. So I want to say thank you, sir, for accepting the appointment. I know it's a surprise. They've been teaching me how to make surprises now. <laughs> the queen, you are our biggest surprise always. <laughs> and our present and uh, our Yes, you yes, see, you can Dr. see. Professor <laughs> Garcia is prepared. He has a much Tota. Yes, it's prepared for us. So that is it. We also have um, Dr. Samina Evelyn as the vice president of um, Paki YYCI Pakistan. So you are all welcome and congratulations for the new appointment. And uh, we hope for the next one year we will work together because having appointment in YYCI is a commitment. So I want to see your involvement, your commitment, your smile, 
your involvement, your activities. And at the same time, we will work along with whatever you're doing, your organization, your family, and we keep on praying. So that is very, very important. Um, and I want to thank you for all your hard works and for your commitment. And because of that as well, um, yes, you can international has prepared a very special award for all the active member of YYCI. Yes, everyone will get another a certificate, but those active member will also get a special certificate. And one or two people will also get an African queen, Elizabeth Lucas special awards. So all these things will be rolled out and sent. All our authors, they have a big packages. We will share it later. They're gonna have their own ebook. They're going to have the link to the Amazon. They're also going to have a certificate from, from YYCI. They're gonna have a very special award of uh, auto a star. They're gonna have that one. And also another certificate that we will show you later. That one is an official that their book is being published on Amazon. So these are the package, the packages that they will get later. So I want to say thank you again. One of our co-authors is just joining us, Ambassador Duke Arizen Timothy. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate your commitment. You are a great leader out there. Keep on doing the great works you are doing. Okay enough of my story. <laughs> okay, Professor Nada has already um, introduced herself. So let us just find time to just move on. So let's move to the next one, which is... Welcome to Yes, You Can International. Uh, welcome to Yes, You Can International a home of discovery, development, and demonstration. A home of love, relationship, and family. A place of mastering mindset for transformation and building deeper relationship. YYCI Blueprint is T-I-M-E for the youth, youth leaders, and young families. Transformation and training. Inspiration and impartation. Mentoring and motivation. Empowering and education. Yes, you can international limited mission is to transform lives, relationships, professions and education, and to support the youth and women to change their mindset, their stories and their situations, and also to support the underprivileged and vulnerable women and children. YYCI's mission is to engage the youth's mind positively and take positive actions, to help them to focus and not to be distracted. That is why we established. Yes, you can international limited mission is to transform lives, relationships, professions and education, and to support children, youth and women to change their mindset, their stories and their situations, and also to support the underprivileged and vulnerable women and children. Our aim is to provide services of care, protection, participation, rehabilitation of children and youth in difficult situations ensure their social adjustment, total growth and development. To advocate and support the underprivileged and vulnerable women and children and partner with other organizations, orphanages, hospitals and institutions that support the underprivileged and vulnerable women and children. To support and protect vulnerable children. To provide extra help underprivileged 
Dr. Elizabeth Lucas is a dynamic and motivation speaker. She is based in the United Kingdom. She is the founder and director of Yes You Can International. She has been invited to several international conferences to speak and lecture. She is an intelligent teacher, author and she is a mentor to the younger generation. Please subscribe to YYCI TV on YouTube to watch her amazing videos. You will be sorry. Glad you did. This is just to let you let you know that there's nothing too difficult for you to do. If we can change, then everything around us will change. Without wisdom, you can't really create wealth. We are in the world of creativity. First of all, I would like to appreciate all our patrons and matrons and mentors of this organization. I want to appreciate their commitment. I want to appreciate their time that sometimes they spend with us during our conferences and masterclasses. I want to appreciate their blessings and their prayers. They are all busy. They are all great leaders. They have their own kingdom. They have their own church. They have their own organization. They have been known and prominent in the society. And I want to appreciate them all. My own very own husband, E. Aroya Agnes Abad, Ambassador Dr. King Femi Lucas Afolalu, Professor Bishop Nelson Perverse. His Royal Majesty, Professor Sir King Clyde Rivers from USA. His Royal Majesty, Ambassador Professor Engineer King Onyeche Promise Obina from Nigeria. Reverend Professor Apabio from Nigeria. His Royal King Adeninka Adeshino from Nigeria. Dr. Rajao Pajidipali from India. Her Royal Majesty, Dr. Daphne Sawyer from Dubai, UAE. Her Royal Majesty, Professor Dr. Javelin Espara from Philippines. Her Royal Excellency Ambassador Dr. Aika Mahaja, I'm sure you've seen her during this program. Her Royal Majesty, Dr. Queen Nadia Ariari from France. And Her Royal Majesty, Professor um, Aroya Ines from uh, Queen Vijay Caroline from India. So I want to say we appreciate you, sir, ma, for contributing to us and supporting us and your blessings all the time. We do not take your time for granted, your wisdom and everything that you're doing for YYCI and your prayers, especially Professor Bishop Nelson Pavels. Thank you so much. I also want to express my gratitude to my two mentors or three mentors, 
Professor Dr. TPS Satikuma, Senior Professor Chaplain General Ebora U. Charles, Professor Dr. Regunat Paraka, thank you so much for guiding me. I really appreciate you. I also want to appreciate all our adversary board members, Professor Dr. Anna Gog from Bangladesh, Professor Dr. Prince Mario Lucerio from Philippines, Ambassador Joseph Oshunde from UK, Ambassador Paula Tito Ladipo Ayuala from UK, Professor Dr. Buara Isa, Buari Isa from, uh, from Nigeria, Professor Anangu Augustine Ikechuku from Nigeria, Ambassador Roset Aliu Square from Ghana, Ambassador Agnes Fortune Kano from Ghana, Ambassador Princess Tokep Chupope Chuku from Nigeria, and our Royal Highness Duchess Dr. Wilfred Wanjiku Jikotonga from Kenya. Thank you so much for, your, for all your services to YYCI. I also want to appreciate my, my younger ambassadors, Ambassador Prince Paji De Pali from India, Ambassador Jason Paji De Pali from, from India, Ambassador Sanaya Sai from India, Ambassador Manak Aneja from India, Ambassador Denu Asmi from India, Ambassador Azamia from South Africa, and Ambassador Irene from Georgia. These are our young ones. They are doing very well in their school and they are very, very good. And we are all, including their parents, are proud of them. And they will continue to become our ambassador and also continue great works they are doing out there. So I want to say thank you so much for all your commitment and your trust that you have for us. I want to also seize this opportunity to thank their parents because they are the one that trusted us and released their children for us to mentor them. And we really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I also want to seize this opportunity to appreciate the PA, Ambassador Dr. Lukman Nuruddin. I want to appreciate Ambassador Miriam Mbakwe that is been doing a great work in Nigeria for our YYCI, y -L -A -E -N, um employee chapter director. Thank you so much. I also want to thank Ambassador Indada Ofri that is in charge of our media and TV manager. I want to thank God and I want to appreciate um, um, Professor Raymond for all the great videos that he has really, really provided for us, especially for this event. Thank you, sir. I also want to thank Ambassador Gifting and Ambassador Christopher. Thank you. Okay, so let's move on to the next one by handing over to Professor Nada. Yes. I want to welcome quickly Dr. Hediana. I hope you have a good rest. Thank you so much for working with us. And uh, we will continue. So, Professor Nada, you can share the list with her so that we can roll on. Thank you. Yes, we can. And yes, we are. Welcome, dear, beautiful Herdiana. Welcome. Uh, now we are starting with our program after the, this beautiful introduction, after thanking to all our patrons, metrons, mentors, our youth, our amazing Yes You Can international family. Let me first start with an amazing person, an amazing educator. He's coming from Peru. He is prepared today for us. And yes, as we hear, he's our new president. He's our new president of Peru. Welcome dear Professor Rubin Garcia. Please share with us your thoughts, share your wishes to Yes You Can International and to our amazing Dr. Queen. Elizabeth, welcome. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Am I audible enough? Yes. Yes, audible and visible. Great. My great pleasure for this great anniversary and this issue of the great book. And it will be 
soon in the hands of many people for the transformation. And that is a word, transformation, because we are always in change, but in change for a betterment. And this association, thanks to Queen Elizabeth Lucas, is that we can say that we have no limits because yes, 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 you can. And this is very important for all the things that you will find in the book, all the tips and recommendations through experience. Experts have written, have written their recommendations as part of their conclusions in research as well, through experience in education. Because education is the tool for success. No educated person have a lack of being in a very well, well achieved, position at work, for example, in their profession, as a person. Why do we need to be a person with basic education, but this have to be deeply performed? It's because we are part of the society and the society is demanding, demanding every time. Nobody knows what exactly the future holds, but if we take a look to the past and we see the biography of those well-educated people, we could see that they made opportunities not only to wait for the opportunities to happen, no, is to make opportunities. And this is a great organization that shows us that it is possible to make our dreams true, so that our dreams will come true since we prepare for them. And if you think about something, you really think about something is going to happen, you can make it happen. But we need to be under the grace of God as well, as we need an almighty power to be with us in our blanks, in the things that we can do because we always say, yes, we can, yes, we can. And we can surpass these things that we have like lockdown, for example. During lockdown, I had the opportunity to get more knowledge of online courses and online participations online conferences, and this was the way to be talking abroad like today I am doing here. And I continue doing these things. Thank you very much for the mention as a new position in this great YYC organization, which is beginning a new era with lots of experience, lots of experience, and the conferences nourish our brains. Thank you very much. Greetings from Lima, Peru. Thank you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you and congratulations for your new appointment as the president of YYCI Peru chapter. Thank you so much. And uh, we appreciate your commitment. Please keep on doing it and keep on supporting us 
and we will have to draw closer to you as well to know whatever you're doing with your company and with yourself. <laughs> because we are family and we are building relationship. Because if we are talking about it, we also need to uh, practice what we preach. Am I right, Professor Nada? <laughs> yes, you are right. And okay. we don't have so many surprises with our Professor Rubin Garcia because he's really amazing. He's amazing. doing a great job. Yes. yes. So before we call go, we need to quickly change the program slightly. I hope you saw, you've seen my information. Yes, we are going chat. with the video. Yes, and we have one after video, one beautiful, beautiful author. I love him. I love his brother. I love the whole family. Yes, you got beautiful. it. You got my message right. So let's surprise um, Dr. Diana. Be ready to interview our young co-author, the youngest co-author. Yes. So be ready. But before then, let's welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we will come back to our speeches because uh, we still want to hear from Ambassador Sonatan Gosh to talk to her, to speak to us. We're still waiting for more people to also share. So but we just want to quickly do this if it is possible. Hold on a second. Um, this we call pre-launching. <laughs> okay, let me not talk. Right. Um, let's do this. Okay.
Okay. Thank you so much. Another video to quickly watch before my ambassador speak. Uh, speak. Let me put that on. I'm sure he will like to hear that. Um. <clears throat> Greetings, Excellencies. I'm Prince Pagatapalli, Secretary General of Global Service in India. Thank you, Excellency Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas, ma'am. I'm very happy to part of your book. I have written this chapter with my brother, Jason. I love my brother, my brother loves puppies and kittens. We presented that bond in this chapter. I could not attend this program. I'm studying 10th class. I have to attend the exam. So I'm sending this video. Please accept my thanks, Excellency. I always grateful to Yes, you can international. UK. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, let me stop that. Okay. So you can see that uh, our ambassador, Prince Pajip Depali, has already introduced his brother. Both of them have written an amazing, amazing in the chapter of this book. And I read it, I was laughing. I was enjoying it. So without wasting much time, because I know, but first of all, let me express my gratitude to our patron, Ambassador Dr. Rajao. Paji Ditipali, the father of these wonderful children. We want to appreciate your support, your great support that you are given these young ones. And we, and we really praise you as the proud father to these children. And now we also want to thank you for releasing them to us so that we can mentor and empower them. Thank you, sir. Okay, over to you, Dr. Hediana. Okay, it was really great. Yesterday we had our patron, Dr. Rajero, and then we just watched uh, Ambassador Prince. And now let's welcome our amazing little ambassador, Jason Pajidipali, to uh, yeah, tell us what actually he brought in this chapter. Because First of all, I want to say congratulations, Jason. I'm really proud of you. You are a great young example of our great future generation. So please, uh, Jason, tell us the story of your chapter. Greetings, Excellency. I am Jason from Blue Open Chain Machine India. I am very happy for the book. Please accept my thanks. I thank my brother. I thank my mom. I thank my dad. I thank my you all. Let us love people. Let us love puppies. Let us love kittens. Let us love all this is my message. Thank you, Excellency Elizabeth Lucas, ma'am. Bye. Thanks. Wow. Thank you. I'm so proud of you, Ambassador Jason. How are you? How's your, I'm, I'm how's, your how's your mom, your dad, and your super. brother? Super. I'm so proud of super. you. Super. You are doing a great job. Do you also know on this audience that this young boy is also an actor? <laughs> you yeah, you, really, I need, you really need to visit their 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 social. A uh, uh, link to watch some of his amazing, amazing. There is one particular, there is one particular film. I a very click one that I saw the other time when he was, he was, he was feeding <laughs> the tree. I mean, it's so ironic because when I watch it, it's like the tree is crying. I need caring, you know? It's like the tree is talking that I need caring, I need water, I need food. And then this young boy in that film, he is like, don't worry, shoop, shoop. Then he's falling the water. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love Thank it. You. Ambassador Prince. Thank you, Excellency. You, you make all of us proud of you, you and your brother. Thank you, Excellency. And I believe that even your parents are more proud of you. So thank, thank you so much. 
Thanks. for joining us and congratulations on your wonderful book that is now in Amazon and we, you will write more. You are going to write more. Your brother is going to write more and then we will publish it for you. So thank you so much for your thank great you. work. Congratulations. You. Once thank again, you. I would like to quickly play another video so that we can take that one out of the way. Good evening, ambassadors, the founder, Yes You Can International, coordination on the third anniversary, job well done in terms of empowerment, inspiring entrepreneurs and individuals across the world. I was privileged to also be a part of the book, how to build a good relationship and I took some point from personal experiences and some of my observations in the offices, in relationships, within family members, and I always feel there's always one factor that strikes in, and that is the mind to do evil. So when a friend or a, relation, a partner in a relationship is not genuine about their feelings, there's more involved in regards to that person. And I would always advise that it's very important to know people very well before getting close to them. Even as friends, even as friends, you need to really take your time and see if this is the kind of friendship or person you want to be friendly with. Because I've seen situations whereby it becomes like a comparison who gets there first, who has babies first, you know? If you can't have babies, then you're not complete. Mm. So friends are not supposed to do that with one another. And here's a situation whereby these things happen in relationship. And then in that of an office environment, such kind of, you know, relationship, how to build them comes from a lot because then there's envy. When there's envy in, a relationship then it becomes a problem or a competition it's good competition but there's some that others take too far and I believe that breeds you know that kind of uh, animosity in a relationship so it was a pleasure really big time pleasure writing for the book and expressing what I felt how I view life how I view people because um, a lot of people have gone through stuff in their childhood or their lives that they never talk about. They leave them, even though they are not aware they're leaving them. So those are things that I think we should take seriously. And this book brings out for us to see how to really build good relationship, what is expected of you as a friend, uh, a husband, a boyfriend. Um, what is expected of you? How do you build that type of relationship? I believe it starts with honesty. And I believe it starts with genuine love. When there's no real love, there's fakeness. Okay? And then real friendship also comes about when people can actually come out with how they really feel about things than holding them till they become huge and big problems much later. So I am an international author and it's thanks to Yes You Can International. And I love every moment that I get to spend on this platform and the people that I meet from different parts of the world. So I believe this is a platform that is making all the differences in our lives and we need to continue to push on and push on as we pull up to 10 years or more celebrating people of all cultures, sizes, understanding, and then bringing them together to have one understanding, inspiring the world, celebrating people, educating people, 
Dr. Lucas Afolalu, you're doing a fantastic job. And the Lord, may the Lord strengthen you to continue to do so with good health, long life and prosperity. Long live, yes you can, international. And I'm, I'm very, very proud to be one of your ambassadors. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Stay blessed. Thank you. Now we are true to that's that's one. Let me just quickly make sure. Okay. Right. We are back to the to, we are back to the room. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we really appreciate this moment. We appreciate all of all our great leaders that are joining us today. Ambassador Omotola Shobowale. Um, um, Dr. Inga, thank you for joining us. Ambassador Tabita, thank you for joining us. Ambassador Nai Akta, thank you for joining us. Ambassador, Ambassador, oh, it's um, it's a uh, um, Dr. Rajao still in the building. Please let us know so that you can also share with, with us today as well. Um, I want to appreciate every one of you. And now we need to quickly call on Ambassador Jude Arizon Timothy since he's here because it might be he wants to quickly go. So please, um, Dr. Ediana, can you call? Can you call on Ambassador Jude and interview him on his special book? Yes, Queen. Sure. Hello. Good morning, Ambassador Jude. Welcome. Can you turn on your camera, please? Okay, now you are visible. Okay, so uh, please tell us how about your chapter in this book. And first of all, before you answer my question, I'd like to say heartiest congratulations for your contribution. I'm really proud of you. And yeah, let, uh, let us know not all the part of your chapter, but just a little bit so people can uh, get encouragement why they have to buy this book. Okay, thank you very much. Personality. Hope I'm audible enough. Yes, you are. Hope you can hear me. We can hear okay. you. Uh, okay, thank you very much. I feel highly happy to blame for this golden opportunity to be part of the Ukraine International Thought Anniversary. Thank you so much, my respected leader and Mr. Professor Dr. Elizabeth Luka. You have been such a great personality to me. You have inspired me so much and have introduced me to so many global opportunities. And being one of the international authors of the Ukraine International Limited is a very big one for me. Truly, I celebrate the sacrifice for me and effort of you, this personality and the right okay i think uh, he is facing an uh, internet connection problem because we couldn't hear a voice clearly. It's a connection, so please bear with him. Hopefully, you'll be able to um, finish up uh, his, his speech. Right? Okay, that is Ambassador Jude Ariz and Timothy for you. And uh, he has also contributed to the book we are launching today. I'm sure um, probably he would like to speak. <laughs> Uh, 
my window. Yeah, uh, yes, but it's um we we can hear you, but it's breaking. If you can do something about it. Right now. So this is Hello. Ambassador Chu, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Ambassador Chu, we couldn't we couldn't hear your voice clearly. Your voice is breaking I and mean, it's because of the connection. It may change the location where okay. he is. Is okay. the network where he is is bad? He can change okay. location. So, so can you change the location? Because the network where you are is bad. Please yes. change the location and join us again. Yes, because we are having live in Facebook. So we make sure that our audience also can hear your voice. They change your location to get better connection. Okay. Can you hear right. me? Okay. I think you need to change the location while we continue again, uh, while we continue from there. And at the moment, I want to appreciate and acknowledge my president and ambassador advocate, Sovia Afolabi Timothy Obalola from Nigeria. He is the president of World Peace Climate Change Diplomatic uh, Organization. And as you can see me with my dressing today, he's the supplier <laughs> of this muffler. <laughs> because they have appointed me to be their trustee. So please, uh, I humbly request from my for, um, Professor Nada and Dr. Ediana, please permit me to invite um, Ambassador Afolabi to quickly share his wishes. Because yes, of I know, course. Yes, yeah. we can. Quickly. Yes. As you can <laughs> see me, surprise, surprise. <laughs> happy, happy, happy Nigeria Independence Day. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you very so, much. So that is uh, why I'm proud to put on the green, the green and the white. <laughs> white. <laughs> so please um, share with us today. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, uh, World Peace and Climate Change Diplomatic Organization, which the chairperson of the Board of Trustees happens to be our dear mother, Queen Dr. Professor Elizabeth Lucas Afolalu, the founder of the Yes You Can International. Uh, we want to appreciate you. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the executive, and all the members globally, from Barbados, Zambia, India, um, um, Cameroon, etc., Kenya, and the rest, like, um, South Sudan, and the rest like that. What to appreciate the Yes You Can International for their support and their contributions to the World Peace and Climate Change Diplomatic Organization. We also, on behalf of the Nigerian government, congratulate you for the. Um, three years anniversary of the Yes You Can International. Uh, yes You Can International is not just an organization that is based in UK. It's an organization that is functioning powerfully in all the countries in the world. And I'm very happy to have around Bishop Ambassador Dr. Nelson who are around. And I'm very sure that a lot of uh, my humble leaders um, from all over the world have been present from Friday up to today. I'm grateful for the opportunities given to us at the level of the World Peace and Climate Change Diplomatic Organization to function at the level of the Yes You Can International. And we thank you, Ma, for the platforms you have given on to us to reach out to the people, especially in the aspect of peace, climate change, and diplomacy. We are very grateful for the for your commitment, you and my daddy, which is um, Professor um, Ambassador Femi uh, Afolalu, where we are grateful for your of the World Peace and Climate Change Diplomatic Organization 
your contribution to widows in Nigeria, your contribution to the children in Nigeria and in Africa is, is something that we need to write about. And I'm very sure that very soon we are going to be talking about it at a level that is more engaging, more diplomatic, and also more rewarding. Uh, we are grateful for your support for the, our organization, especially last year during the um, the reaching out to the street children at Nemna in Calabar. The project is is to feed um, over over three thousand out of out of the out of the um, street children. These are children that have been in the street, especially living on a dump site, whereby most of the 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 refuse in in cross river states, especially in Calabar, is being dumped. They are living on that dump site, and they have been doing a lot of recycling, reuse, and um, reduce of plastic waste and metals in that place. And they use the money of uh, whatever they make from the selling of the of the um, of the waste products from that is being dumped on that website, of that dump, uh, dump site. They use it to feed. But we are grateful because yes, you can international with other partners, partner with the World Peace and Climate Change Diplomatic Organization, mm -hmm. and um, engage with the children. And we see that we were able also to feed more than three thousand of them. And then we were able also to interview them, ask about how we can do to help them lift them out of the the wretched poverty there they are. And by the grace of by the grace of God, this year we are already engaging with the government of Nigeria especially in cross river states to see that we we see that we can remove the dump site because the dump sites are the center of the town currently is at the center of the town is is causing a lot of pollutions there are schools in that area and then, yes you kind of have, have been have been engaging with us to see that we can do that we are we are very grateful we are very grateful we are very grateful also we want to congratulate use this platform to congratulate nigeria as a country nigeria is is one of the biggest country in uh, in africa uh, if not the biggest, biggest in terms of resources, biggest in terms of people, biggest in terms of capacity. And you, as you can see, we have a lot of people that, that they are doing very well in their endeavors. We are grateful to God Almighty for granting us the privilege to be celebrating 63 years independence of our dear country. Nigeria, we, are, we thank God for Nigeria because before now, there was a lot of um, predictions that by 2010, Nigeria will cease to exist. Then they pushed it to 2015 that Nigeria will cease to exist as a country, that it will be a failed um, state. Then in 2020, there was also a prediction that by 2020, Nigeria will cease to be a country. But I am, I am proud, I am very happy that today, Nigeria is still existing. And it's not only existing, we are waxing stronger and we are moving our our territory not just to this point but even to a better place we thank god for the leadership we are having presently the leadership may be failing they must be they may be having their issues but as nigeria we are resilient and we are grateful to god that things are getting better it is not yet where we want it to be but it is getting better than how it used to be and we are grateful for your support we are grateful for your prayers especially from the international bodies like um, at, at the level of diplomacy with the UN, with the African Union, where our organization is engaging, which is the African Union uh, ECOSOC, and even with the ECOWAS, we, at the level of the civil society organization of West Africa. We are grateful to God. I want to thank the, the people of India for their support for our country. We want to thank the, the people of United Kingdom for their support for Nigeria. I want to thank the people of the United States of America for their support for Nigeria. I want to thank the people of Pakistan for their support for Nigeria. You may not know what you guys are doing, but we, we that are here, we are seeing not only what you are doing at the, at the level of, um, of um, diplomacy, but also at the level of prayers and support. We are grateful, we are grateful, and we thank God for the, the connectivity that we are having. And then we want to say this, that we there are lots to still do. And what we can do is to is to continue to build this relationship that we are having now. This to continue to build on the relationship we are having because the relationship we are having now 
will not only strengthen us as a country, not only strengthen us as a continent, but we also go a long way in strengthening our diplomatic engagement at all levels of government, both at the local, national, um, regional, continental, and even at the world level. And I want us to continue to work like this, strong, better, and believe in ourselves that yes, we can, and everything we do matters. Yes, we can, everything we do matters. Please, we are for peace. We are for climate change and uh, everything we do matters. Thank you for the opportunity. God bless Nigeria. God bless Africa. God bless United States of America. God bless United uh, Kingdom. God bless India. God bless Pakistan. God bless everywhere else. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You've done it all. I really like the way you've really, really expressed Mm -hmm. our relationship within the countries. I really love it. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much because we are also still talking about relationship and it's not only relationship between man and a woman. It's not only the relationship within the husband and wife. It's not only the relationship between the family, but this relationship we are talking about is extension extending to even nations to nations, because if we can big build relationship and if we can build our trust, then there will be no war because we need to, when you bring build that relationship and you, you come to the table, you share your, your opinions, your feelings, and you get a better understanding, then there will be good relationship and there will be no war and there will be peace. And so that is why I'm so grateful that our president of the of the YYCI ambassador, young ambassadors, can share with us today together with his own organization. So thank you for enlightening us and briefly share with us about this key in relationship. And also thank you for bringing. I mean, for branding Nigeria as a, because that's what we need to do. We need to, no matter what we are all going through, we need to change our perspective. We need to change our negativity to positive because negativity takes us nowhere. Yes, we can learn from our mistakes. Yes, we can learn from our failures, but we don't dwell in it. We only learn from it. And then we have to find a way to progress and move forward. And that is what uh, Ambassador Afolabi has uh, shared with us today as well, that we are the biggest, biggest country or largest country in Africa. And we are the giant of Africa. And I am proud to be the Afri queen, African queen of Africa. African queen. So <laughs> I'm proud and I'm glad that uh, you, were, you were seeing the positivity in Nigeria. And that is what we need to do. No matter everything going on, we need to change our perspective because what you store in your mindset matters. And the state of your mind will determine how you see situation, how you see your nation, how you see your society, how you see your community. And what you see is what you will believe. And what you believe is what you will act on. So if you say that Nigeria is good, then you yourself, you are ready to contribute to the, the, to the progress and the growth of the nation. You are ready to, I mean, to, 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 to achieve the sustainable goals development goals that we are talking about because of your mindset. And that is why I continue saying, we can talk a whole year, but if our mindset is still fixed mindset, if our mindset is negative, there will be no transformation. There will be no changes. There will be no progress and there will be no improvement. So that is why it is so important that we keep on renewing our mindset, keep on changing our negativity to positive and engaging our mind to positive and great information. 
So this is a young person coming to our platform to enlighten us more. So, which is very good. Thank you so much, Ambassador Afolabi Timothy. And once again, happy Independence Day. I see white, I didn't see green. <laughs> so it's supposed to be green and white. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I want to hand over to um, Dr. Ediana to call on our next co-author. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Green. So after we heard so many blessings and also I think it's such a spirit that we got from Nigeria. So now let me call our next co-authors from Bangladesh. We are having a young lady with us who has been contributing in this volume three. Let's welcome Ambassador Faiza Prodan Menjabin and please share with us how about your chapter in this book. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me and greetings. First of all, I want to wish uh, this uh, Yes You Can on this third anniversary and all the beautiful uh, leaders across the globe who are part of this journey and especially for this book launching. So it's very interesting when I was, um, uh, when uh, Professor Lucas invited me to write uh, that chapter for this book, I had only a couple of hours to write for that a magazine and for the book and the topic was like relationship matters and how we can resolve conflicts and um, how it matters in our life to manage along with all these emotions. So I think even yesterday I was listening all the other co-authors, everyone actually reflect on this very um, core point. So I want to uh, reflect it uh, from very different aspect, what is relationship uh, first. If you uh, um, focus on that relationship before we know it, uh, we actually have relationship. We actually come into this world through this relationship, through this bonding, before we even land our feet on this world. That relationship, first relationship we build based on that faith without even knowing, seeing, and understanding. That is with that divine power. That's how I see it. So gradually, even if you get to know your parents, you already build a relationship when you are in the womb of your mothers and all the other relatives along with everyone. So you build different kind of relationship in a spiritual form and you get that emotional connection before actually you are there physically. So I think the faith is the fundamental fact of relationship, any relationship, and the baseline of relationship comes from all these aspects. So when you break it down, the worldly life, it's very different for physical form and solid form. It's required some sort of skills to understand all this analogy if you go through. It's required more than one aspect to, pay, uh, to continue and build a good, healthy relationship, including with your parents, siblings, husband, wife, or any kind of relationship. So as um, yesterday, Mr. and Mrs. Lucas' uh, story, uh, Dr. Alka was explaining and sharing with all of us that, you know, uh, more than knowing about something and someone, the important part is to having that awareness within yourself, to having that capacity and ability to understand that you can acknowledge something without knowing. So if you go through by all the great philosophers, for example, Einstein, you will see how he quoted, it's very important that you understand the knowing. So you, by going through tons of books and history, you get to know information, but how much you're capable to get that essence. So I think people need to bring that awareness within themselves. First, they need to uh, have that clear mind and um, open mind to understand their inner conversation within themselves. If you can have that, you can develop that skill. I think to follow through all these other skills, how to manage your emotions, how to communicate, how not to pile up those um, uh, when you have disagreement or you are not uh, on the same page, you might have a different opinion on something. I might have a different opinion on something, but it really, it really doesn't mean we have to go against each other. We can 
find a common ground as we are talking about wellness thinking and supporting yes we can learning what is learning learning is not over the night it's not possible over the night to learn it's a process it's a lifetime process every day we are learning you cannot end learning that's the magic of relationship if when you're learning that is also another kind of relationship with 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 your knowledge with your wisdom with your inner wisdom so relationship is the core fundamental of everything that as a human being we start we have we form it in this planet so i think that baseline has to be taken care of with much more care with much more clarity and having that purity and honesty i have seen we all have seen people will talk something behind um, behind your back then they will create a situation for other two person and they will play the good role and putting something and so this kind of actually education when we talk about formal education we do need formal education but formal education cannot determine that you will become the best version of you you cannot become a good human being so that's why my fight my journey all along it was to emphasize on educating the mind instead of going by line by line uh, what that writer has wrote what that thing has told or it is on a signboard don't go by that just break free from all these barriers and tools first get into yourself and acknowledge the power of educating your mind it's so important and you can unleash anything as when we say yes we can yes we can we can get rid of our bad habits we can get rid of our envy jealousy these things sometimes are very underlying layer in it works as an interface we put on a good face uh, up front just to show but internal we are not that clean to our soul to ourselves even because we cannot be honest to ourselves so how can we um claim something that will offer something good to others so i think that journey should start once you develop learning and seeing you can understand you can talk you are not a toddler anymore that is spiritual relation you already built before you living and coming on this planet so it is like when worldly life it's that's how it's very different you see if we break down ourselves we have more than one dimension as a human being you see my physical form my emotional spiritual and that faith and that faith we we actually i see it as a religion belief or divine power the way you want to name it you in your god you call jesus in my god i call almighty allah in any form there is a faith you don't see your god do you can you feel can you, but you have that essence because when you look up to when you look around the power of the universe science is a very different thing so that we people sometimes get confused we think science is um, a creator science is not a creator science is the best highest form of a study where you can break down something and come up with that analogy and you can have uh, provide a validation for average people normal people that yeah if you want to break down the water what it contains oxygen and hydrogen how much atoms are there and all but those things were given already by the almighty divine power so the relation actually based on relation the universe is influencing everything and we are the influence of universe and that divine power so on that note i would like to say yeah sometimes it's better to use your inner wisdom don't think you have to read tons of books you need to follow einstein and socrates and plato you can be one of your plato you can use your own unique power because i believe god has given each and every one that unique power it's It's up to you which part to tap into. You want to go for that goodness, you want to go for that badness, because we have both the power. We have black and white. So anything you focus on, you actually become that. That's the power of it. Yes, you can. Thank you very much for Thank having you. me. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You've really brought out my mind and share it to the world. Because you let us know the very the, the importance of educating our mind. You know, it's very, very important. I like the way I said that, yes, it is good to go to school. It is good to be educated. It is good to get all your qualifications and certificates. But at the same time, your right mindset is very important because you need to educate your mind. You need to engage your mind. You need to protect your mind. You need to 
feed your mind with the right information. And you know, can I also let you know that we all have the power because greatness is in us. So we have the power to switch. Have you noticed if you sit, if you are going to watch uh, uh, television now, you, we have so many channels there. I'm sure you can take the remote control and click the channel you want to watch. That is exactly the way we need to feed our mindset. We need to choose the information that we are gathering. We need to choose what we watch, what we see, and what, because what you feed your mind with, we, we help you. We also present you to the world. The state of your mind will decide how you treat people, how you perceive things, how you see and observe, how you react, how you partake, how you see human being, how you treat them and respect them, and even handle solutions. For example, how you face challenges, how you face conflicts, and how you overcome it all have to do with our mindset. And you can now know why the Af global African queen love that mindset so well wake me up in the middle of the night i have some i have so many things to say about mindset i'm sure professor nada can testify <laughs> mindset is very very important <laughs> because the, if, if we can see that even with our government it depends on what's in their mindset that is why they are, they are all performing the way they are performing let me tell you something as a governor, sometimes you might promise heaven on earth, you will do this, you will do that, you will do this, you will, you will help in the electricity, in the infrastructure, you will make sure, you know, you have 101 promises to give to the nation, especially our politicians. But if your mind is not in the right place that limitation that holding yourself exactly like, okay, i am it's yes. just i am but instead yes. of seeing that how um good it is for the collective good exactly you just focus on ah uh, it's me yes. only my benefit so, so if your mindset because remember as well that the government are the people like us they say government are the people of the people so all of us here, we might not be sitting on that government or that uh, state house or something, but we are governor. We are leaders. And yeah. that is why the way we contribute to the world depends on the state of your mind. The way right. you handle things depends on the state of your mind. The way you perform will, depends on the state of your mind. The way you see the situation and you want to change it depends on your mindset so you can see how important mindset is very important and we can keep on to change it and uh, it's not too late to change it's not too late to grow our mindset and it's not too late to renew our mindset you don't and have you to know, go one way forever the conflict most of the time comes from developed mind. Exactly. Once developed mind with the wrong thought and yes. wrong practice. Exactly. It's going to take really a long time. Doesn't matter how much degree you are having, because mm -hmm. you will defend yourself. As a human have this mechanism, mm. they take so much time to add up that new change and the exactly. good change. Yes. So that's why you have to be open to yourself and let go of those things. Do not hold any resistance. Be a sponge. You know, mm. just absorb the good thing. I think it will help in time. It is. It is. Thank you so much, Professor Froda. Can you pronounce Thanks. your name? Megja Bin. Yes. Thank you so much. You've really, really given us a key point. And I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I want us to um, hand over again to is um, let me first of all check Ambassador Chuk Arise. Can you open your camera and are you in a better position position now? Can you can I come come? Okay, uh, right. Okay, Doctor Dana, can you? bring him back so that he can finish his speech. 
Okay, thank you so much, first of all. Welcome back, Ambassador Chiri Aridze. I hope that you are in a great connection right now so we can all hear your great wisdom, your amazing thought that you have put and you have written in this book. So please welcome again, Ambassador Chiri and let us know what you have written in this volume three. Welcome, sir. Ambassador Jude, it's still not clear at all. We can't understand. We can. Sorry. Yes. Can you hear me, Ambassador Jude? We are seeing that you seem outside right now, but we still couldn't hear a voice clearly. Okay. No, let us move. Yeah. Okay. okay. We move let on move. now. We will come back to him. Okay. And now uh, I want all to sing happy birthday because to us is coming a very dynamic, a very professional leader from the Philippines, Professor Anthony Batat. So before you birthday. sing, before you yes. sing, is he here? Uh, yes. Oh, here. Here. Yes. If you are here, please open your camera. We want to yes. see you. I'm not too sure he's here. Professor, Professor Antonio uh, just last few minutes ago. Again, he was here now. Okay, so we need to move Nothing. on. When he comes come back. back. Yes, he will come, come back. back. Okay. So, um, um, Professor Nada, can you mention the name, one, one of your names that I gave okay. you this morning? Uh, let us, let us uh, call uh, Young, also leader, great leader from the Pakistan, uh, our ambassador, Azar Gil, so he can... Uh, please, Ambassador uh, Azar, uh, can you share uh, what you write in your chapter in this uh, publication? Welcome. Ambassador Azar Gil from Pakistan. Yes. As we saw him just now. <coughs> so he Azaz, yes, you know, he joined us the first day. I saw him. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, we have a chat meeting and everyone is uh, leaving, so that's okay. why. Okay. When okay. we finish, no uh, yeah, so okay. thank you very much no for. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank that's you very right. much. We'll pray for yeah. you and uh, because we have an online uh, uh, program. Yes. Service, okay. uh, Australia, yes. Pakistan, UK, and uh, Pak uh, and Philippines as well, okay. and many others. So thank right. you very much. Thank That's you. fine. Okay, okay, okay. we'll okay. move on. Okay, the Let next one. Move. Let us move then from Bangladesh, Pakistan. We are going back to India. We have an amazing professor of English. He is really great. And I'm sure that his chapter is very, very interesting. And I cannot wait him to share us what he writes in his chapter. Welcome, great uh, sure professor uh, Sanatan Ghosh. Uh, that's good. Uh, thank you. Respected Sanatan Ghosh, please open your mic and welcome. Uh, we don't hear you. No, we, we can't hear you. Yes, yeah, something with the mic, please try. Please, now. Am I audible, man? Yes, yes, you are. Welcome. Before focusing on the chapter, I contributed to you. Can you increase the volume? Yes, volume, please. Volume. Now it's OK? Yes, yes. it is better, yes. Uh, before focusing on the chapter I contributed, I would like to thank all the mentors all the respectable person here. Happy Independence Day to uh, all. Short, short to meeting. 
ਹੁਣ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਚੈਟ ਬੰਦ ਕਰੋ ਓਕੇ ਓਕੇ ਜੀ ਅ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਅ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਲਿਟਲ ਲਿਟਲ ਲਾਊਡਰ ਵੀ ਸਟਿਲ ਡੋਨਟ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਟ ਗੁੱਡ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਥੈਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਬਿਸ਼ਪ ਸੇਡ ਥੈਟ हेलो ओके एम आई डबल यस यू आर बट इफ यू कैन पुट इट ऑन द मैक्सिमम आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर इन ब्रीफ वेरी गुड सब्जेक्ट दैट हैज बीन चोजन हाउ टू सॉल्व कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हाउ टू मेंटेन एंड कीप रिलेशनशिप एंड हाउ टू मैनेज इमोशन रिलेशनशिप डिपेंड्स ऑन थ्री कांसेप्ट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट emotion and that is why relationship continues it is known to all that conflict is a normal and natural part of life it can be positive or can be negative however learning how to manage conflict is very important for long term success in relationship so at first we'd like to know uh, what is conflict conflict is an unpleasant thing in our life is person consciously or unconsciously wants to seek respect friendship spiritual and material well and when on the way our interests collide with the interest of other people it is very hard conflict is a uh, daily part of life depending on the type and intensity of the conflict is has to be resolved so at first we have to control conflict that will help to strong relationship so we can control conflict adopting strategies it is possible to reduce the intensity or level of conflict self control control is major condition for avoiding conflict if we can keep ourselves under control we can remove from conflict then we should be aware of conflict if we uh, involved in a conflict we should try to avoid the conflict or we should settle the conflict if it was necessary uh, then i would like to focus on relationship what is relationship a person acquaintance with another person is called relationship we give different names of relationship but we should avoid that relation relationship depends on many concept that we should maintain one of them is conflict that has been discussed before uh, most times we uh, break relationship but why we are breaking relationship we are lacking relationship there are many causes of breaking relationships most of the times missed understandings are responsible for breaking up relationships without emotion or emotional support in any relationship it solo it slowly uh, fades away to maintain a good relationship we must be attentive listener most of the time we don't hear to don't want to hear other story or avoid it but both have equal say about it even if you even we can't express our opinion properly let your partner know that too there must be proper communication and understanding to keep the relationship healthy and beautiful and in case of good relationship emotion plays a major role and what is emotion explaining emotion is very complex task emotions relate to a particular state of mind emotion refers to the special uh, state of mind in anger violence joy etc etc the main characteristic of emotion is excitement but we should control our emotion to keep 
a good relationship of so how to control emotion when this trust is broken only the emotion person suffers the pain of the broken trust so we have to learn how to manage or control emotion to keep the vehicle of relationship going on we should maintain some strategies to control emotion that plays a major role in case of relationship first find out the cause of our emotionality then believe in yourself prioritize your will but we remember things that make you feel emotional change your thoughts be positive when a relationship break we blame other but instead of blaming others we should find out the cause of breaking relationship so i think in case of relationship or keep up a good relationship we should control conflict emotion actually conflict is also an inseparable part of relationship in the same way emotion is a very important part in case of relationship so it may be said that conflict relationship and emotion are interrelated so i think from this book all the chapters are very important people around the world will be inspired after reading this book they will find the solution to their problems how to keep up relationship how to manage emotion how to manage conflict how to remove conflict and after reading this book uh, after reading all the chapters of this book they will be inspired to continue a happy life thank you thank you everybody thank you so much thank you so much we really appreciate your time and congratulations on this wonderful book you are already a great writer you've been writing so many books even translation from 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 uh, india language to english and uh, very soon again uh, both of us are going to be uh, working together to yeah, form a book uh, yeah. on english so that uh, we can publish it and help other people to learn english so I want to say congratulations on this book. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, when we listen, our great ambassador, Sanatan Gosh, we really feel this, what he writes, each world, what he writes, we really feel that. So he's an amazing and amazing author and writer. Keep doing your great work. Now, let us move from India to Georgia. Georgia. Before we, before we do that, let me okay. just quickly acknowledge all our great leaders that are joining us. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for joining us to celebrate our third year anniversary. Thank you so much for all our co-authors. Thank you. We really appreciate you all. Thank you also for all my great chairpersons. Professor Nada, Prof, uh, Dr. Ediana, thank you so much. And also thank you, thank you, thank you uh, mm -hmm. to all of us, including me. And happy third anniversary. Mm -hmm. Now, before we move on, I want to acknowledge Professor Ravinda Rena. I know he is from Russia at the moment. And uh, can you wait uh, for 10 minutes? Is that possible, 10 to 15 minutes? Can you still wait? I hope you are not in any program presently, but we appreciate your time. Please wait and let two of our co-authors share their chapter. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you for waiting. Okay, over to you, Professor Nada. Yes, so we will call our Professor Ravinda Rena after two. Um, we have two amazing women from Georgia. Let me think who will I first call. But yes, I will call first my dear sister, Dr. Inga Karchilava, <laughs> who adore writing. And yes, she is coming 
uh, from the education sector. And I want to say that she is a Europe head of in International Internship University, ambassador in James of International School, uh, working, giving a lot contribution for the education on the global level and loves writing. Her heart is full of love and she is sharing her love uh, to her students and to all of us. So. Uh, Dr. Inga Karchilava, please share with us what you write in your chapter. I'm sure oh. that, that is something <laughs> really special. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, I I am very happy. Congratulations to all. You need to be happy. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Great respect. Congratulations to everyone on this important achievement. Congratulations to all with great respect. I once again told you all it is really very great then you have to opportunity to write your important uh, thoughts and uh, things and uh, then this book will be published all over the world oh my god <laughs> this is my dream thank you dear queen relationship are a crucial part of your lives it is um, uh, my topic i am very happy once again i will say briefly okay of course relationships are a crucial part of our life be it with family friends colleagues society and more i believe that Building healthy relationship is an essential life skill that can positively impact very aspect of our lives. Communication is key in any relationship. Effective communication involves not only expressing one's own thoughts and feelings, but also actively listening to the other person and understanding their perspective. It is important to remember that communication is a two-way street and we should strive to communicate respectfully and honestly and clearly. In addition to communication, trust is another important factor in establishing healthy relationship. It is important be trustworthy and also trust others to build a strong, long relationship. Another important aspect of healthy relationship is setting boundaries. Boundaries helps us define what is and is not effectively in a relationship. And they provide a sense of uh, safety and uh, security. It is important to be clear, communicate our boundaries and respect the boundaries of others. And uh, finally, it is important to remember that relationship requires effort and commitment. Just as a plant needs water and uh, sunlight to grow, relationship need attention and care to thrive. This can include spending quality time together, expressing gratitude and appreciation at being willing to overcome challenges. And my dear uh, Professor Nada, my dear sister, and uh, my uh, uh, dear Queen Elizabeth, it is very difficult to be good mother, to be a housewife, teacher, leader, and social worker at the same time, yes, especially for Georgian women. This is a very, very big challenges, but I try, but I can. I am the daughter of one of the traditional family where the woman is the light and white purity of the family. But I try and I think I can do everything. Yes, it is uh, the short of my speech, but uh, in the topic uh, I write also, you will read many more important points. Thank you once again. I am very happy. God bless you all and congratulations to all of you. Thank wow. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. And before you go, can I quickly let you know that we're having some new appointments 
to be made later today. And because you are here now, I will just want you so that you can feel relaxed if you want to. And um, can I also quickly congratulate you because you will you are our director of Georgia. Yeah. YYC I yeah. director mm -hmm. of Georgia. And and your daughter, Ambassador Irene, is in yes. charge of the youth. So she is the YYCI Youth, YYCI Georgia Youth Coordinator. So congratulations once Thank again. you so much. Thank yes, you. Yes. Thank you Thank for you. this amazing opportunity. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So nice. let's move on to the next. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you, dear sister. Thank you. You are an amazing professional and traditional woman of Georgia, and you are representing your country uh, really on the best way. And we are really proud that you will have this duty to present Yes, You Can International for being uh, appointed like a director. Big, big, big congrats to you, to Elena, and to all Georgian educators now still in Georgia. Uh, I want to also call one amazing educator. She's well known. She's Dr. Katuna Karkeli. She is coming from the Georgia Department of the Early Care and Learning and working for the International Committee of the Red Cross. A very active educator. She is still on the University of the Cambridge uh, with her English. So there, Dr. Katuna, Please enlighten us and share with us what you write in your chapter in this book. Welcome. Thank you. Thank and you. Also, Stephanie. my big respect to you, dear Hatuna. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, dear Nada. Thank you, dear Inga. Thank you, dear Queen Elizabeth. I was just thinking good, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, uh, everyone. I was thinking how some, um, I was thinking to find some words. How should I just express my gratitude to all of you, uh, to our dear organizers? Because it is um, really, I had this opportunity first time that I'm the international co-author in this book and i'm very grateful and i want to thank you and you are uh, you are really doing the great job and thank you for us uh, that you give us such kind of opportunities uh, and uh, let's keep going uh, together to do some good 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 uh, things and good projects thank you very much as for this uh, topic, I also wrote some uh, one chapter in this book, and also my chapter is also about the, how to solve the conflict, how to maintain the key relationship, and how to manage just emotions. As Dia Inga said, it is really, it is not easy to have the really good relationship. And especially in Georgia, you should be a good mother, good school principal, good teacher and others. So relationships are not one size fits all. There are many qualities and factors behind the emotions and actions that make up healthy relationship. Uh, no matter who you love, who you met, or the history you have together, healthy relationships relationships do not have certain core traits. A healthy relationship is really one in which you feel valued, trusted, and respected, period. Also, communication, I think, is a real communication which leads to an emotion connection you can't get anywhere else. And also, honesty. Honesty is this uh, one of the uh, important uh, that this is an essential part of the communication. As for the ability to express and uh, experience and express emotions is more important than you might realize. As the felt response to a given situation, emotions play a key part in your reactions. When you are in tune with them, you have access to important knowledge that helps with decision-making, relationships or success, and day-to-day -day interaction actions, self-care, and others. Uh, if uh, you are trying to get better at managing emotions, you might try downplaying your feelings to yourself. When you hyperventilate after receiving good news or collapse on the floor, screaming and sobbing when you can't find your keys, it might seem helpful to tell yourself that just keep down or it is not that big of a deal so don't freak out it is a big deal to you so accept emotions 
as they come helps you to get more comfortable with them. And what I, what uh, one thing also I found and uh, I learned from this community that we can do everything. Let's do some just good things together. Thank you. It was also the short, short part from my chapter and you can just read more uh, in my chapter in this book. Thank you once again, dear, uh, dear Elizabeth, because Elizabeth, dear Inga, dear Nada, they are the persons whenever we want something, whenever we need their help or we need to ask to help to answer our questions, they are straight away. They are next to us and they are helping every time uh, in everything. Thank you, everyone, and uh, we are very grateful. Thank you. Wow. Once again. <laughs> Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Dr. Thank you Katuna. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful yeah. world. And yes, I want to say when I met this woman on this global platform, she was really, really uh, very, very interesting. You know why? Because she she always was, Nada, can I be here? Nada, can I do yes. Nada? <laughs> and you know, Nada has <laughs> million questions every day from Dr. Katuna. So I love this. Spirit. I love this spirit of working because she wants to work, she wants to share, she wants to give the knowledge. Yes. So, Dr. Katuna, you yes, are. Yes, at the same time, uh -huh. Nadia, I'm also school principal. I'm also teacher and lecturer at the university. And I'm also sharing what I gain knowledge here to my uh, just teachers, to my students. And that's why I want to be involved in, in just finding the 21st century <laughs> skills and everything what is new. And you you are welcome. You. Don't worry. <laughs> Professor Thank Nada you. always thinks on everybody. So Thank you. Let's Thank move. you. Thank you. Thank Let's you. move from Georgia. We are going further. We have a professor, great professor from South Africa, Professor Ravinder Rena. So dear Professor Ravinder, uh, let us enlighten. Let us say what you write in the chapter. What's your topic? What you write? What relationship? What uh, what you do in this uh, chapter? Well, uh, <clears throat> Professor Nada and uh, Professor Elizabeth, uh, <clears throat> thank you for the opportunity. Indeed, I'm supposed to, my apologies that uh, <clears throat> I'm supposed to write the chapter and uh, Professor Elizabeth uh, invited well, me to well, do that. But I'm speaking now is your chapter, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Great. Thank you. Professor Ravinda, well, don't worry. We you are now making your chapter. Exactly. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it is indeed uh, always a pleasure to be part of the family of the SU International. And I thank uh, uh, the Queen and also the colleagues from different corners of the world. I'm also close to Georgia. I'm also close to you know Serbia and uh, Croatia and so on and so forth. Uh, being in St. Petersburg, Russia right now. Well, uh, the relationships uh, that are very, very important, I was listening to other colleagues, uh, that relationships are crucial you know, for every human being uh, alive, that we have got more than 8 billion people that we live on this planet today. And we have got a lot of relationships. It could be government to people relationship. It could be wife to husband relationship. It could be customer to businessman relationship, or it could be teacher to you know, student relationship and so on. So that that is very crucial. And uh, sometimes, how do we resolve this uh, uh, conflict among the relationships? So it is sometimes deal with. Uh, we have to deal with emotions, and emotional intelligence will also help. Nowadays, uh, very less people they could be uh, uh, probably patient than many people. They are short tempered. So when we have this scenario, that means that uh, I always believe one thing that uh, listen 80%, speak 20% principle. So of, of course, being a teacher, I have to speak in the classroom environment. There is no other, no other excuse for me, but uh, I always, whenever I listen, I wanted to listen to the people more than I talk. So that is important actually. You know, we need to develop that kind of passion, compassion for listening. When you listen to the people, whether it could be your wife or it could be your friend, it could be your colleague or whoever they are. You listen to the person and then you understand. Try to understand also is important. In most cases, what happens is that, ladies and gentlemen, that when somebody is speaking, we don't listen 100%. We only listen 50%. Then we understand 25% of it. Then we react with 100% emotion. 
that's where the conflicts uh, take place. That could be among the wife and husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, or teacher, student, or whichever the situation. So therefore, listening is very important. We, we need to listen to the other person more than we speak so that you understand the conflict. You, are, you don't create the conflict. You try to resolve the problem. The second point I would like to mention that we have got a lot of talented people in the world. Einstein has got a one, 140 IQ, uh, which is measured, although he never tested his IQ himself. Uh, so 80 to 100, 110 is the normal IQ. Whether you have exceptional IQ like Albert Einstein, it's 140, or whether you have about 70 or 80 IQ level, doesn't matter. What you need to be is that you need to have a positive attitude, politeness, humbleness, and the down-to-earth approach. So those things will solve a lot of problems in our life than having your qualification from Harvard University or Stanford University, Oxford University doesn't help actually. You are short-tempered, your qualification doesn't matter, but your behavior. So meaning that, ladies and gentlemen, in the interest of time, I would like to say that uh, it is not the knowledge that can solve the problem. It is the wisdom, your patience, your uh, positive behavior will always can solve the problem. It can always build a concrete relationship among the people. So therefore, we are here only for a short period of time. We cannot show up. It, it is not the look. It is the book, it is the kind of think and the idea that you need to share, you know, positively. That is what is important. We spend a lot of time and a lot of money in how, we, how beautiful we look, how handsome we look, but we don't spend a simple time or a little bit of time in building the relationships, not only among ourselves, but also with our the family members and with the rest of the communities around the world or around our neighborhood. With these few words, I think uh, I'd like to thank um, once again uh, for the opportunity, colleagues, and as always, uh, pleased please to be with you uh, this afternoon. Thank you, Anata. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Professor Ravinda Rena. I know you are very, very busy. I mean, you are from India, from India, you reside in South Africa, and now presently you've traveled to Russia. So you are right there in Russia uh, speaking to us. Uh, I have to really text you yesterday is that, Professor, you need to be in, my, in this program. <laughs> so you have to clear whatever you want to play and be here. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. You did not honor me. You honor the God of the universe because I, I really am humbled to, to, I'm humbled to, to call you at any time uh, to, for you to come and share with us your great wisdom, your great um, knowledge and your great experience. So I do not take it for granted from the depth of my heart. I thank you for responding to my call yesterday and uh, assuring me that you will be here definitely. And I really appreciate that. Before you leave, because I know very soon you're going to leave us, like I said, that I'm going to announce your new position. Your new position in YYCI will be president of YYCI South Africa. And my precious sister will be working with you because I know both of you are busy. Our precious sister, she will be joining us shortly today. Um, the vice president will be Professor Marin Mia. Wow. And also yeah. our daughter will be the youth coordinator of South Africa. So three of you, you will form your own team. Mm -hmm. And then I will definitely come to South Africa and we'll be able to do much work over there. So but before South of... Africa, Nigeria. <laughs> before so, Nigeria. So on behalf of YYCI leaders, ambassador, patrons, and matrons and mentors, I would like to congratulate you, sir, on your new position. Like you said, it's not about knowledge. It's about wisdom. And I like the way because I wrote it down. Knowledge is not the one that solves the problem. It is the wisdom. I like that. And also, I like that one that says, it is not the look of the book. It is the contents in the book that matters. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you for coming.
Okay, and let's move on. Happy, happy Independence Day to you and to all our Nigerian brothers. Oh, brothers. yes. Let me show. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I'm putting this. I put on my red power, my red power color. And then on top of it, I put on this because there's Great. hope for Africa. There's hope for mm -hmm. Nigeria. And I stand in this place to say I'm proud to be a Nigerian. I'm proud to be an African. I'm proud also to be the global African queen. So thank you, sir. And happy Independence Day, my lovely brothers and sisters from Nigeria. Great. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. And over to Dr. Diana, I think. Am I right? Yes, you are. Dr. Diana, please invite our next great author. Yes, uh, first of all, congratulations, Professor Rapinder. Like we all know, even though uh, he didn't write in this chapter, but he already shared his wisdom words, and that's really important. And since the first day, we truly appreciate those people who are really busy, but still join in this uh, meeting. So they show that we got a good relationship. So thank you so much, Professor Rafinder and to all co-authors. So from Russia, we are going to go to Liberia. So we have the other co-authors who have contributed in this film. Let's welcome Ambassador Denis Yormi. Please share with us what actually the chapter that you have written in this film. Welcome. Okay, let me say good morning from Liberia, West I Africa. I like your attire. <laughs> That's a Thank good so one. Much. Okay. Uh, it's very important, Dr. Queen, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Optical, optical, optical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that means <laughs> good morning to everyone from Liberia. Good afternoon and good uh, evening on your serious destination. Again, let me use this medium and opportunity to kindly appreciate my mother, my mentor, my advisor, and the one that is motivating me on a daily basis, uh, in Dr. Professor Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of Africa. Uh, it was indeed a privilege that I joined this platform and become a co-writer with all of those vibrant and uh, left coach. Uh, actually, it is, it is an opportunity. It is a privilege for me because this is my first time ever uh, to pin down some information that today we are referring to here as a novice in a book. So I want to say thanks to my mom for the words of encouragement. Uh, when she first invited me to this uh, journey, I said to her mom, I cannot, she said, don't forget about our, our, our institution name. Yes, you can. I said, wow, if you are saying yes, I can. What means can I use to be yes that I can? And she said, yes, you can. It's only uh, the mindset that you needed to be yes, you can. And by the all help and grace of God today, we have shared some of our ideas and knowledge. And today it is well penned down in this novel, this wonderful novel that is going to transform and navigate the lives of many that is going to go through this new field space money. All right, again, let me say thanks to another mentor who is mentoring me as well, uh, Dr. Nada uh, Rakovic from Korosha. Actually, our time being together wasn't really a last long or longer time, but in a few why or meaning that we have met, there have been some level of transformation in my life and I, the institution there is going on smoothly and there are things that is really moving on faster through the relationship and the connection with this great institution, yes, you can. Okay, to so my chapter that I share knowledge on is how to maintain and keep relationship. So there are times within our own lives and experience that Relationship, we always encounter a problem and there are always a problem we encounter within a relationship. And if we does not properly handle them, it might lead us to a heartbreak or a breakup within that relationship. Like so many of our coaches and mentors say, 
there are different different aspects instead of relationship. They have relationship from the school or to or, or teacher and the students or couples relationship. You know, there are so many relationships. But to just overemphasize on generally relationship, we need to actually maintain a relationship. We need to be of a, a good and or very vibrant or panels in a relationship. With our relationship, we will be able to last to have a better and a conducive atmosphere with our panels. So within my chapter, I also pen down few factors, few factors that we can maintain a relationship, few problems. If we have encountered problems within our relationship, what are those factors we use to maintain relationships? So we talked about effective communication, like one of our coaches make mention of. It is always good to communicate with our partners in a relationship effectively. It is true effective communication that we be able to have a, or communicate with our partners, with our, our partners within the relationship to understand the ongoing problems within that relationship. And two, we talk about support. We should all, always be supportive within our relationship. And that is why uh, my mother, uh, Dr. Queen Elizabeth, is always in the habit of, she always being a, a supportive person in all of our relationship. Like I said to you all the period of time when I met this lady, she had really proven to me that she is a supportive person to the extent of inviting me to this platform to become one of the co authors so we as leaders within our relationship, we as partners within our relationship, we should always be supportive. And thirdly, we should be able to listen. We should be able to listen within our relationship. Every relationship we get involved with, our partnership, because so many, every one of us here has our own institution, we have our own daily activities we get involved with. So in order to be a good leader, to be that vibrant person, we must be able to listen to our peers to our 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 police within that relationship within our with our partners within that relationship and lastly we talk about respect being homo respect we should always respect each other whenever we are in a relationship we should always respect each other because without respect our relationship is going to be broken our relationship is going to be shortened but our relationship is not going to last long so we must be not our colleagues, our peers, our students, and whosoever we meet within our relationship, we must be able to respect them. So like I said, with all of those factors and uh, solving problems that we have listed, let us be able to use them effectively within our relationship and to have a better Africa, a better Europe, and a better America and the world at large. So thanks to everyone. And I want to say thanks to my mother again for the privilege, for the honor, Calling me on board to be one of the co authors of this great, 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 great novel. Thank you so much to everyone. I'm indeed grateful. Ambassador Dennis Yombi, I know you are very busy with your organization and we are pleased and I'm proud of everything you are doing. Keep up the good works. I also want to congratulate you for this great chapter that you have contributed to this great book. It's amazing when I read it. Thank you so much. And guess what? More books. I know I push you to write this and become a co-author, but I am seeing more books are coming out of you because you need to share what is within so that people can benefit and learn great wisdom from you. So congratulations once again. Over to you, doctor. Uh, we now, uh, we want to thank to you, great uh, Ambassador Dennis. Thank you for running your amazing organization. Keep doing great work. We are proud of you. And now, Dr. Queen, uh, are we moving to the video? Um, Dr. Queen, Professor Antonio is joining. Oh, oh, wonderful, yes. wonderful. Yes. Okay, yes. okay. Exactly. While he's joining, while he's joining, Today yes. is his birthday. 
Yes. So shall we yeah. all sing a song? Please. Yes, we have a song. Yes. Welcome okay. back, Professor Antonio. Please open your camera if you are here. Yes, all. We are waiting you back. We're waiting. We're waiting. Please, everybody, yes. open your camera for this very, very <laughs> important occasion. We just want to celebrate one person, one leader, great leader in the society. Please open your camera, Professor Antoni Baxter. We are waiting. <laughs> Professor, open. Open your oh. camera. Okay, who is going to lead us? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Let's sing it again. I think it's wondering who are they singing for? <laughs> Professor Antonio Baxter, are you with oh, us? Hi, Professor Antonio. Yes. Hello, good evening. Ah, ah, okay, let's start again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Professor Antonio. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Professor Nada, can you announce? Or is it yes. a, no, I think it's Dr. Dr. Ediana. We are here together. No problem. Yes, no yes, problem. yes. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Professor Anton, an amazing professional leader, professor on the university. He is doing such a great work. We are really honored to have you here with us at Yes, You Can International. Today, on your special day, you gave us time because we want you to share with us what you write in this chapter. So we are waiting for that. Welcome, Professor. We also want uh, Dr. Diana to wish Professor Antonio yes. happy birthday. So Diana, yes. Yeah, sure. I do really wish all the greatest things for Professor Antonia for his contribution in the education and all the contribution in YYCR. It's really great honor to be here with him in the special day and we are launching and then we are going to hear from him about his view uh, in this uh, relationship matters group. So it's really a great occasion for all of us to have a special person like him with us. So please welcome Professor Antonio. Okay, Professor Antonio, on behalf of Yes You Can International, having your birthday, especially during the time of our anniversary, third year anniversary, we wish you happy birthday, many more years, more progress, more lives, more joy, more happiness, more peace, more love. We bring that to you today as your special day. Thank you for always, always, meeting up with us and also impacting into other people's lives in terms of education and other things. Thank you so much. We all love you and we appreciate you. Now they've invited you, they are inviting you to speak to us on your special topic in this book. All right, so thank you so much for all the greetings. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, especially to our global speakers today. So in a world where true leadership is rare gem, we find inspiration in individuals who embody the essence of excellence and dedication, Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas of Fulalu, a distinguished inspirational and visionary leader, author, advisor, certified mentor, career counselor, mindset and relationship coach, and multi-awarded educators, stands as a shining example of what it means to inspire, innovate, 
and lead with unwavering commitment. From the moment Professor Queen Elizabeth as a CEO of Yes You Can International, it was evident that a new era of transformation was dawning. Her remarkable leadership style effortlessly blends strategic foresight with compassionate understanding. She possesses an innate ability to bring out the best in their team, fostering an environment of collaboration and mutual respect. It is impossible to ignore the contribution of Professor Dear Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas Afulalu has made to the development and success of the organization. So yes, you can international has not only surpassed organization benchmark under her leadership, has not, but also established new standards for innovation and performance. She has supported growth breaking initiative that have changed the course of a Yes You Can International and permanently altered the business environment. So her dedication to social responsibility extends beyond the boardroom and is commendable. She is actively involved in humanitarian projects that strengthen communities and give power to those who are less fortunate. Her remarkable character and sincere conviction that she can improve the world are demonstrated by her unwavering commitment to making a good difference. As we celebrate the anniversary of YYCI, Professor Queen Elizabeth Chorney of Excellence. Let us remember that leadership is not solely about titles or achievements. It's about the lives touch, the inspiration ignited, and the legacy left behind. So Her Excellency embodies this truth in every sense, and her journey reminds us that the pursuit of greatness is pursuit of selflessness, resilience, and endless dedication. So as I reflect on my time at Yes You Can International, I am filled with a deep sense of gratitude for the invaluable experiences insights and personal growth that I have gained throughout my journey. The YYCI has not only provided me with practical skills, but has also shaped my perspective on life and career aspirations. One of the most significant lessons that I've learned at YYCI is the power of mentorship and collaboration. The Institute fosters a culture of guidance and support where experienced professionals selflessly invest their time in mentoring and nurturing the talents of the next generation. Witnessing the impact of these relationships on my own growth has inspired me to pay forward and become a mentor to others in the future. In recognition of her exceptional leadership, tireless efforts and remarkable achievements. We are honored to present this testimony of excellence. We are proud, proud of you, Professor dear Queen Elizabeth Lucas of Fulalu. So thank you so much and happy anniversary. Thank you so much for your speech. I, I was just wondering, are you still talking about me or are you talking about your chapter? <laughs> Well, thank you so much for the, the words of encouragement and inspiration because uh, we all need this inspiration sometimes when we are leading or when you are in the public. So I want to say thank you so much, Professor, Dr. Uh, Antonio. But I still want you to give us an insight into your chapter, if that is okay. <laughs> Professor Antonio, what you write, you now talk about our amazing Africa queen. Now, in the chapter, what you write? Hello. I think, oh, I, think I think he wants to surprise people. Like yesterday, uh, Coach MG said, people need to buy it. So we don't talk much about <laughs> it. Actually, yes. So buy yes. it. So you will know actually what it okay. is inside. Okay. All right. We go by what you said, Dr. Diana. <laughs> <laughs> we go by that then. So if you want to know the secret and also what Professor Antonio Baxter wow. has said, I've written in that special book. Well, grab your copy. 
That's what I will say. Yeah. Buy it. <laughs> Buy it. <laughs> Grab your copy. That's what I will say. And feel free to read through all and be inspired. And like a, a doctor said yesterday, MG, uh, MG Coach, write your review. So that will encourage us to write more. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, let me play this video and then I will hand over to all. I mean, I will hand over to our chairpersons. Good afternoon and good evening, dear honorables, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Joel Olanio. I am very fortunate to be part of the third year anniversary of Yes You Can International, an organization that I joined uh, over a year ago with a wonderful mentor and CEO. Queen Prof. Elizabeth Lucas Afolalu. 
she's been a very good mentor to me and uh, I have learned so much from her. Apart from this, I am fortunate to be part of the international co-authors of the fourth edition of the Mindset book. And I was privileged to write about two core issues of life, which are how to manage our emotions and conflict resolution. These are two keys, key aspects of our life. And in that uh, write-up, I did well to define what emotions are. In fact, emotions are energy in motion. The way we express our feelings and our emotions. There are positive emotions, there are negative emotions, and there are complex emotions. But it is better to learn how to manage such emotions by being self-aware, by having a good mindset. And the other one on conflict resolution is almost everywhere. We are in a global world. We must learn to live with everyone. Conflicts may arise anytime. We must be ready to face it head on and provide solutions. So I am very happy to be part of this celebration. Once again, congratulations to all co-authors and to my dear mentor, Professor Queen Elizabeth Afola Lucas on this third anniversary of Yes, You Can International. Yes, together we can. Thank you and have a wonderful celebration. I remain Dr. Joel Olania. Wow. Mm, Dr. Joel, we miss you today. You are amazing, Dr. Joel. So you can see the names, they are, all their names are on the platform of Amazon. So when people want to check their names and their topic, it's already there.
Relationships, they're the foundation of our lives. But let's face it, they can be tough. Conflict arises, emotions boil over, and make maintaining a healthy connection becomes a challenge. But what if we told you there's a book that can change it all? Introducing Relationship Matters, how to solve conflict, maintain and keep relationships, and manage emotions. This comprehensive guidebook, written by relationship experts, offers practical solutions to transform your relationships. Discover effective conflict resolution strategies that promote peaceful communication and understanding. Learn essential relationship maintenance techniques to nurture and cultivate strong connections with your loved ones. Dive into valuable emotion management strategies and regain control over your reactions. Relationship Matters has already helped countless individuals rejuvenate their relationships and find emotional well-being. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Get your copy of Relationship Matters today, available exclusively on Amazon.com. Change your relationships, change your life. Order Relationship Matters now. Okay. Uh, let us not go there yet. Once again, welcome to this wonderful occasion. We've been sitting down here since 10 o'clock. Please, if you want to stand up, you can stand up and stretch yourself and drink water, mm -hmm. or you can move around. We have a lot of people still going to be joining us because majority went to church and mops this morning to pray, and some people are doing one thing or the other. So, but then we're still here. This is our grand finale. And we are not rushing to go. But if you want to leave, we please accept our release. You can go if you want to. But we will continue because some of our co-authors are just joining us because they've been in church this morning. And this is the time that we need to celebrate together. So on this occasion, I'm going to hand over to Dr. Adena to quickly, quickly uh, call on the next person, Professor Simeon. Okay, thank you so much, Bill. So we have her amazing contribution and also share experience uh, in this Relationship Matter book. Now, please let me call our next caller, uh, her, His Royal Majesty, Professor Simon Peter, to share his insight about his chapter in this book. Welcome, Professor Simon. Professor Simon Peter Olushola Beleyi, are you here? Because I know you've been here since almost one hour now. Um, should we call on next person? Because I know- He writes, he's here, he writes, I'm here. But we don't hear you, Professor Simon. But we can't hear, yes, we need we to hear, hear you. you. But was mute. Okay, you can unmute yourself, Professor. I ask you to unmute. Can you please unmute yourself? Diana, he's talking, but we don't hear his, him. Professor Simeon, please try to make your mic. Okay. Um, we need to move on quickly. Maybe you will Dr. collect Queen. it. Dr. Queen, we have here an amazing person from Nigeria, a mentor. Come join us now after celebration, I think. Yes, I know. I know. I've seen <laughs> him. I've seen him. I just want him to set it down comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> Let's welcome Professor Charles Ebora from Nigeria, my own personal mentor and the co-founder, no, sorry, the um, vice chancellor of International Intensive University and also the, the leader of African RRU and also the founder of Dynamic Peace, um, I think he will be able to help me on that line. But let's welcome my personal mentor to share his wishes for us today. You are welcome, sir, Professor Charles. Thank you very much, April and Celeste. My great leader, I need to bless God for you, Queen Elizabeth Lucas Apolaolu. May God go to empower you with his wisdom, with his anointing, and give you all the graces you need for you to live a life that is worthy of emulating. 
and God will going to strengthen you for the wisdom that you have been imparting on people. And God will going to empower every one of us that are listening right now with divine wisdom which he has given to you. As you are celebrating this anniversary, the glory of God shall shine upon you. The divine favor of God shall shine upon you. The divine power of God shall shine upon you. You shall not lack. Everything about you shall work out to the glory of God. No weapon was so often that will fashion against you that will prosper. No Amen. dragon, no demon, no sickness, no, no principality, no kingdom of darkness. You shall come to excel. And we that are with you, we shall also come to excel because you are a role model. May God come to bless every one of us that are called uh, author. May God come to grant you the same wisdom you are granted unto the founder of uh, YYCI Academy. May the wisdom of God come to locate every one of us. We shall come to happy. In respect of what the country is saying, we shall come to do exports. We shall come to expand in our business, in our family, in everything that we do. Because the glory of, of, of God is upon us. May peace of God rest upon every one of us present here. May the divine favor of God rest upon us. May the anointing of God come to bless us, come to empower us. As we receive the divine favor, as we are celebrating our anniversary as regards the third year, and at the same time, we in Nigeria are celebrating our independence, have received another power. And that power I'm now passing it to every one of us. And peace rest upon you. Power of God rests upon you. The glory of God rests upon us. So that we're going to do exploits. Keep on working for God. We will never be tired. Not weapon. Not thing whatsoever for will cause any delay, any denial to the blessing of God as He has imparted into every one of us. Peace of the Lord rests upon us, both now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you Amen. very much, everybody. Thank, thank, you, you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And happy Nigerian Independence Day. Mentor, you, you will be happy to know that we started this program with Nigerian National wow. Anthem. And wow. myself, even though I've put on my power clothes today of oh, red, and I'm yeah. putting on the yeah. flower given see. to me Powerful. by one of our ambassador, um, ambassador Afolabi from, wow. uh, yeah. Wow. So wow. I am celebrating our third see. year anniversary, uh, oh, YYCI. Oh, I'm also oh. celebrating our 63 years of oh. independence in Nigeria. Oh, yes, so yeah. I said I should surprise you, sir, since yes, you are so nice our day. head, our leader from Thank Nigeria. You, <laughs> Thank you, man. God bless you, man, with his wisdom. Thank you very much, man. Professor Thank Charles. you, everybody. Yes, Professor, Professor Nada, Charles, God bless you. Please, uh, please. God grant you with his wisdom. Yes, please show us your cake and your cookies. I'm sure that you have cake and cookies today. <laughs> really, we finish. Don't worry. Everything will come aboard. But the wine, everything. We are celebrating. We are fully celebrating. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, yes, celebrating. yes. Thank, you. Thank you, Professor. Yeah. Okay. So we need to move on quickly. Um, Auntie Bola, uh, I would like you to share with us quickly before we call our next co author. Auntie Bola Tito Ayola, my auntie here in UK. Auntie Bola, Bola Tito, probably she's driving or she just, uh, okay, I think she will speak to us later. So please, uh, Dr. Diana, can we call on the next speaker? Uh, yes, Queen, but before uh, Professor Simon sent screenshot that he cannot unmute himself, okay. would you please check it? Uh, he needs to go. Um, can you leave the Zoom and then rejoin again? I think that will make it better. Can you leave the Zoom and then join again, um, Professor Simeon? Yes, he will. He will. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Right. We move on quickly. Um, before we move on, I have a surprise for somebody. And uh, with the permission of one of my great friends and also our president of Croatia, I will have to do this quickly, quickly. It's a surprise, like we all like, like surprises. <laughs> so uh, we will like, I know he's, she's been working hard since Friday and now we just want to honor her and appoint her and promote her and love her and uh, welcome her fully to YYCI. So permit me uh, to mention um, 
Dr. Adina Dewey Nofika will be our president of YYCI Indonesia. Wow. Oh, I'm, I'm really surprised. Thank you so much, Queen. I mean, like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm new, I'm baby new in, in this platform. And thank you so much. And I'm so honored that you appointed me as a president uh, yes. of YYCI Indonesia. Thank you so much, Queen. Yes, we've already have our director. And she is also part of this uh, book project. She is one of our co-author, but she, I'm not too sure she'll be able to join us today because I received a text that uh, her daughter is not feeling well yesterday. And, and her name is Professor Mutuana, if you know her. Uh, yes, from Indonesia. And then we also have uh, the deputy. She has a dub deputy as well, but we like to bring you to be the president of the nation, president of YYCI Indonesia. So thank you so much for accepting. I know it's a very, very um, um, surprise one because I, I mean, I, I've, I always like to see the commitment of people before we appoint them. And that is our goal from now on. You work first before you are being appointed so that we encourage you to move on. We don't believe that you have to be appointed and then sit back and doing nothing. So, and you can see that majority of our leaders, including my own personal mentor, yes, they are my mentor, lifetime mentor, but they find it, you know, including uh, Professor uh, TPS Sasikuma, they always, always there because they need to watch their baby. They need to watch and, you know, observe what their baby is doing. So that is why they're always, always on my platform, on my conference and masterclass. And that is really uh, what a good mentor could do. So that is why Professor Charles and Professor TPS Sasikuma and Reverend uh, Professor Akpabio the one I call daddy. He's also always joining us to see that we are doing great with their prayers and their support. So thank you so much. And you are fully welcome officially to Yes You Can International. And congratulations on your new appointment as the president of Indonesia, alongside with our directors, uh, Dr. and um, Professor Dr. Mutiana and uh, Professor Dr. Abdi, I think I'm correct. Right, good. So I hand over to our moderators, our chairpersons to continue. Yes, I think um, Professor Simon is already back in here. Okay, can you hear that's me? fine. Okay, so can you invite him back, please? Can you invite him back, Dr. Diana? Oh, okay, he's joining us, okay. All right. While she, why is, let's see if we can. Uh, are you here now? Can you, are you, are you with us? Um, Professor I Simeon? I saw he got two accounts. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. 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 All right. Wow. So please invite him. I like your cap. Happy, yes. happy Independence Day. <laughs> Thank, you, man. Thank you very much, man. Uh -huh. Okay, so over to you, Dr. Diana, to invite him to speak to us. And okay, share with sure. and share with us at his own chapter in the book. Yes. Welcome. Welcome back, Professor Simon Peter. We really waiting you to hear your wisdom in this chapter and once again happy independence day to nigeria and we are really eager to learn from you and to know what actually you have written in this chapter so please share with us just a little bit so people are going to be more curious about this book wow thank you very much i really appreciate god almighty for making this third year anniversary a success and secondly, I appreciate my very own international mentor, mother, and wonderful queen, uh, queen of Africa. And that is the person of 
Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas II. Uh, I really appreciate her drive, her motive. In fact, she is a mentor and she is a mother to the youth across the globe. Uh, I love a, a motivational drive since the year, uh, since the time I joined YYC High. In fact, I have learned a lot. I've learned a lot. It, you know, she gave me some positive drive and even the power of collaboration, the power of relationship, as well, the power of conflict resolution. I really appreciate the time and the privilege given unto me for, uh, uh, for me to feature as a co-author in this wonderful international book. Uh, also, I appreciate the team that are together with her organizing this wonderful program. I really appreciate everyone, uh, the, uh, the, the coordinators and the moderators, starting from Professor Nada and uh, Dr. Diana and every other ones that has been working together to make this program a success. Uh, I pray the Lord will bless each and every one of us and empower us to do more in Jesus' name. Uh, yeah. Actually, every Nigerians that are here, I am saying happy Independence Day to we all. May we have a better and glorious Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Uh, yeah. On this a uh, wonderful book, international book, uh, which I was privileged to co-author. Uh, I wrote on conflict resolution on relationship. Conflict resolution on relationship. And to be brief about my write-up, I'm just going to do, uh, to give a little summary about what I wrote in the book so that uh, we can give time for others that have attended church service like I, like myself today, so that they can as well speak. Uh, actually, I gave something, some uh, best tips in handling conflict resolution as my summary on the book. And the first one is that if you want to maintain a conflict resolution, then what you need to do is to maintain a respective attitude. When you maintain a respective attitude, then you can resolve any conflict across the globe. Why? Because attitude will determine your altitude in, in life. And when you can show respect to people, as a saying says, respect is reciprocal. So when you respect people, automatically they will respect you in return. Respect is not something you fight for. It is something, it is not something you earn. Uh, it is something you will earn, but it is not something you fight for. It is automated. When you respect, in reciprocative level, people will respect you in return. So when you maintain a respective attitude with people, or with your, uh, with your, let me say your partner, let's say your partner, then automatically you will always resolve conflicts. Apply respect, respect in your attitude. Make sure you maintain a respective attitude in any relationship you are engaged in. Number two point I mentioned is to encourage honest and open communication. You see, many people in relationship or in conflict resolution, you know, uh, there is a saying in our, in our, uh, in our, in Nigeria, let me say in Yoruba dialect in Nigeria, that whoever, whoever, uh, or let me say a dead corpse will never hide him or herself. A dead corpse will never hide him or herself from the person that will buff the dead, uh, the corpse, you know? If you want to, your resolution to be resolved completely, then you need to encourage honest and open communication. What do I mean? You open up to each other. A partner must open up to one of them honestly, honestly, not for you to be narrow-minded 
while your second partner is opened, both of you, both of the parties, either in an organization, anywhere in the world, maintain honest and open communication. Communication matters a lot in relationship. When the communication is honest and open, then you will be able, you both, I mean, both parties will be able to identify where the problem is coming from. And at the same time, you will be able to find quick resolution to that particular conflict. And the third one is choose your battles wisely. That is the third point I want to speak about. You have to choose your battle wisely. You don't inherit enemies from some other people, right? Because the other party, as of, uh, maybe your second party is having uh, maybe a kind of conflict with another person, and you, you are trying to inherit that anger from your third person. No, relationship is not done that way. If you want to maintain or resolve relationship continually, then you need to choose your battle wisely. It is very, very crucial because if you want to succeed with your partner or in any relationship in life, you will need to back off or laugh it off. There is something we call you back it off or you laugh it off. So you don't need to inherit enemies and you, you need to know how to laugh it off and how to back it off or back off on it. So you must let go. Then finally, the point I want to speak about is consult a professional. There are some relationship, uh, there are some conflict relationship, uh, conflict in, in relationship that your power cannot undo, especially between husband and wife. Both of you may not be able to undo it. Your wife might have looked down on you and say, are we not seeing every day? Is it not, you, are you not the one I've seen all your nakedness from the head to the toe? What do you want to tell me? And your, your husband too may be saying, look at this wife. Are you, one, are you the one, like, you know, men are always used to ego. Are you the one that will be advising me? Are you the one that want to correct me? So in a case like that, when uh, conflict is getting out of ends, you need to consult professionals. There are professionals out there that are trained to resolve conflict. When you see that you have tried to resolve the conflict, it is not working out, consult professionals. Consult professionals. And I am recommending one professional house here to everyone in the world, across the world. And what is the professional firm? The name of the professional firm that can resolve any conflict that is capable, they have cap capable resource persons to resolve any conflict in the world. And that, what is the name of that professional firm is YYCI International. That is Yes You Can International, headed by our wonderful Queen Professor Dr. Elizabeth Afolalu Lucas. Thank you and God bless him. <laughs> Wow, 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 <laughs> Professor <laughs> Billy Young, thank you so much. We've really, 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 I like your cap, so please package it well, well, and then send it to me. Uh, so I can I can present it to my 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 king over here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dr. Dr. Queen, when your husband comes from the church, he will be very surprised with this beautiful cat. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> he, he wore one yesterday, you remember? Did you see yes. him wearing his own yesterday? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, Honorable uh, East Royal Majesty Professor Simeon Peter Olushola Beleyi. Yes, you've been with YYCI for almost one year or even more than that. But to my surprise, this is my first time of seeing him real life here in this fair uh, because he's a very professional. He is also a pastor, if you need to know. Is a pastor, is a royal majesty, is a professor, is an ambassador, is everywhere. So that is why he is very, very busy. And we do understand as long as you have a way of enjoying the atmosphere of transformation and you are enjoying the, because as some of us, we watch the film. So you are watching the video all the time. That's fine. You are gaining. That's the most important thing. And you are doing great things and impacting into people's life out there. 
that is amazing because Thank we don't you. just want to gather together and be talking and talking and speaking and speaking. We want to take action. So I rather prefer you to show up for the conference once in a while and then take action out there. Do the Where necessary and also impact lives and let us be proud of you, sir. Thank you for Thank joining you, us today. So we are moving on now. We are moving on and keep on, like uh, Professor Nada said to my mentor, okay. he's, uh, he's expecting cake and rice and whatever you are wow. cooking. He so, <laughs> yeah. for, the, for the Independence <laughs> Day today. Yes. So, okay. Now Let I, need, us, okay. I need to hand over to... Yes. Okay. Let us move further. We have here an amazing personality, an amazing educator. He is well known. Um, please, can I quickly the... read this? Can I quickly read this? One of our main, our matron uh, has joined the Facebook because of uh, connectivity Problem? and okay. other things like that. And I would like to read his message to us. Happy and blessed Independent Day to all our people from Nigeria. Much love, blessings, and grace to you my darling queen, and to all our YYCI. So she is with us on the Facebook and she wishes us all the best. She wishes us happy anniversary. And she also wish us as Nigerian happy independent day. And that is the name of our Royal Majesty, Professor, Doctor, Ambassador, Nadia Arihiri. So she's with us on the Facebook. So we love you, ma'am. We love you so much. And also I have our doctor, MJ Tolan, that spoke to us yesterday. He is also on the Facebook, wishing us happy new day, happy new month. Uh, thank you, sir. We appreciate you as well. And we have so many people joining us on Facebook as well. We love you. And we appreciate you all. Thank you for joining us. Okay, over to you, Professor Nanda. Uh, Auntie Bolatito yeah. is also at the background. She is on transit, driving. So yes, I don't encourage her in UK here to drive and talk because if not, you put yourself in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> no so problem. she sent her love. I've, I've seen her uh, message on the chat box. So she sends her love to us and uh, she's at the background supporting us and celebrating with us. That's it. Thank you. Over to okay. you, Professor Nada. Great. Yes. So it is for, for her safety. When she stopped driving, she can join us. But now we are moving. We are moving to one special personality who writes his chapter in this book. So I want to call an amazing uh, ambassador Odukoa Olani. Welcome. Please unmute yourself and tell us what you write in your chapter. What is your story, please? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, my honorable people of YYC. Hi. I hope I'm audible. I'm hope yes, I'm audible and visible. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, everybody. I am so grateful to be part of this. Uh, great uh, team, this great group. Uh, I also contributed to knowledge in terms of uh, how to solve conflict in, mar uh, in relationship. Of course, we know conflict as human being, we can't do without it. Once in a while, it will crop up in, even in friendship, at times it could be what we least expect. But one thing we need to know is that uh, we must be able to not allow it to degenerate into what will split that relationship or what will make it to be unhealthy. So in terms of uh, relationship, the relationship I would say is just the cornerstone of uh, woman emotion. It is the cornerstone of uh, woman interaction, how we relate to each other. And one thing we must also take cognizance of is that it uh, influence our personality 
and it also assists us in uh, growth. If we are unable to manage the conflicts in relationship, definitely we will not be able to grow above it. And in managing that conflict, we just have to consider one or two things. Uh, you must be active uh, listening because at times uh, it's as a result of uh, misconstrue of information, sometimes could make conflict to exist. So you must listen actively to the other person, hear him or her out the, uh, the view from the viewpoint then you are able to balance issue and recon, uh, rec, uh, reconcile where need be. The another thing is that there is the issue of uh, empathy and uh, open communication. Um, sometimes, uh, as human beings, we tend not to we tend to have some hidden. Uh, I don't want to use the word agenda, but we have some hidden things that we don't want others to know. And sometimes if they know, they will see the angle or the viewpoint from where you are pushing your argument. So there's always that need to, to have an open mind. Communication must be there. You must uh, also consider the constructive conversation. The, when you say constructive conversation, um, without any biasness, you must be able to push whatever is the issue. Let the person see the reason why the, maybe the other partner has to go your own way in a relationship. Of course, uh, it is not ideal to expect that you will always have your way all the time. Then uh, we must also uh, remember that uh, uh, the, you, you identifying, underlining, uh, what do I put it, uh, consign. You must be consigned for that person. I want to talk of being consigned for your partner or for your friend that you're in a relationship. It cuts across so many things. It's not always uh, maybe visiting or going out for events or it's part of it. You must show consign, good times, even in bad times, you must always be there in a relationship. Uh, for instance, as husband and wife, yeah, is imagine you can't even remember the day your, your wife's birthday, maybe your wedding anniversary, or little little things could create a, could cause conflict in a relationship, especially even in marriage. And uh, even where you are not together, there must be regular. Even if you are together, regular communication is also key. It's just meant to maintaining a good relationship either marriage or even individual, then spending quality time with each other. Very important, quality time, not rushing all the time. You're not there you for the person. Every time you, are, you want to get out of the whole thing. Then the last thing I want to say before I will just say one or two things about our, our queen uh, is emotional intelligence. You can never rule out emotional emotional intelligence in a relationship. It is just, I want to put it, the ability for you to be able to identify all, uh, the, the, the emotion of that person. Even in the workplace, uh, so many owners of companies have issue with their staff because they are unable to make use of uh, the staff emotional, emotion rather to know whether there's a problem the staff is bringing from home. You just want the work done without constraining the personal emotion of your staff. Sometimes emotion will influence a lot of things. And with a little talk, the staff that is moody, a little advice, a little encouragement, a little care, that staff can get out of that present state that uh, the staff is. So you must consider the emotions of the other partner, very important. Then another thing I want to say before I'll give a little testimony uh, about uh, Yes You Can and our, our queen. Uh, I just want the aspect of uh, you must have a deep understanding of what is relationship matter in relationship. There is a there you must ambassador, know. ambassador, ambassador. Don't write, don't tell us all about your book. 
you know, because okay. we, we, we want to encourage others to go and grab that book. So summarize the book quickly and uh, yeah. say whatever you want to say. Thank you so much, sir. All right, maybe I should just, uh, in summary, uh, you look out for what is relationship matter in relationship, very important. And finally, uh, the connectivity, you must also, there's the aspect of connectivity, you must connect to that, your partner uh, in a relationship. Let me just uh, keep the suspense there. Why, when we get the book, we'll be able to get details, knowledge about it. Uh, do I go ahead and share a little testimony or? Of course you can do because uh, that testimony can really, really touch my heart again. <laughs> yes, please, please do quickly, right, you know, briefly. That yeah. Is a yeah, I want to appreciate God for our queen, the founder of Yes You Can International. Uh, to be precise, I think I know that she has been my mentor now for how many years there are? Maybe 1984 or 85 till date. When I was still in high school, she has been mentoring me, encouraged me not to do like every other people within my area, that I should go ahead and read and the rest of that. So she also advised me, supported me, even while writing the exam, I did the exam, went to university. And today I have a lot of testimony to, to give. And by the grace of God, um, I'm also, uh, I think last year there was a program we, was it October or there, but there was one of the master class that really challenged me and uh, that pushed me ahead that, no, I must be independent. So that made us to, made me to start another business this year, which by the special, I'm talking about a school business, I opened a school last year I also year before last I opened uh, started my own consultancy company Nico Fast Consult I'm a tax person tax financial and management consultant and this year I became an educator as well opened a school where we have uh, I don't know what you call it over there but we have nursery primary and secondary and by the grace of we started this section by the grace of God is uh, so good. And I even gave a testimony in the church today uh, that I was so happy yesterday night. I had a salary of workers. At least I have 10 workers. I have to even transfer it. I was so happy. So I'm now paying people. So I was so happy. And it's all about she standing by me, encouraging me. I'm just so grateful. In fact, I've been happy today that, ah, so I can now be near of those days. So I'm now the one having people working for me and paying them to God be the glory. Thank you very much, uh, my people. Yes, you can. I'm grateful, man. Congratulations once again for your progress. Thank you so much. You are the, 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 uh, the example of uh, YYCI transformation, even when we haven't start, when we didn't start YYCI about 30 years ago before yes. relocating to London. I believe that... Uh, um, the, you can believe with me as well that I have that, that ability to inspire others to do something. And when I met this young man, he was just uh, very young in secondary school uh, where in my area. So I happened to just uh, draw him closer to me and started uh, mentoring him because I, I knew that he can do it. I knew that he has the ability to do it. I knew that he, he, there's, there's, there's some special, there's some qualities in him that he himself didn't, I mean, was still young for him to recognize it. So, but uh, I was so passionate because I knew that he can do it. And look at him today. I think he just finished your PhD, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, he just finished his PhD. He also had a master's in accounting, am I right? Yes, ma'am, no, yes. Yes, he's also a, a parish pastor, am I right? Yes, fellow yes, of course and management. Yes, and, uh, <laughs> and then he started this uh, organization on uh, how to help people with their tax in Nigeria, yeah. am I right? Because there was a time you invited yeah, me for the, 
for you invited me to join this Zoom meeting while you are doing that. And now he's establishing his old school. That is what wow. transformation is all Dr. about. Dr. Queen, this is really, Dr. Queen, we are so proud and ambassador of Olani. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. So, I'm so we are so proud of you. And guess what? Like I will always and I will always tell you, the best is still yet to come. Yeah? Because you keep going. You don't stop. You keep going. And I like also, another thing I like about you is that you are willing to learn. You are willing to follow the instructions and you are willing to take action. And then another yeah. thing about you as well that I learned from you is that you don't you are not sharing a way of starting small you understand yeah. you started small especially this school now you just started but by the time you realize it before the end of this year you will see more transformation uh, and uh, next year is going to be greater yeah i have over 20 i have our 20 people now good good wonderful clap for you amazing 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 yeah. amazing Thank you so much and keep doing it. Yeah. And to everyone, yeah. even Ambassador uh, Ambassador Sovio Afolabi Timothy as well. He is as I mean amazing his progress as well, because now is the satisfied surveyor in Nigeria. And he's also established his own organization alongside with his own uh, with his own NGO which is World Peace and Climate Change Diplomatic Organization. So he is running both his own business and at the same time running the charity or NGO as they call it. So kudos to all our members, our leaders, because you know why? This is just the beginning. By the time we finish up and come back here to celebrate our fourth year anniversary, majority could have gone far in their yeah. progress. There will be transformation. There will be celebration. There will be great, great projects that they will be handling. There will be relationship being restored back and good relationship. Many of you will get married to the right person and many of you, you will progress massively. It's gonna be speedily because I trust God. I believe in God, and I know that God can transform it. And we are the organization that prays, and our prayers are being answered. And all our families, we have something to celebrate, and the joy shall be full, in respect of what individuals are going through. We will overcome it. And that is why the topic of this book is how to face and undo challenges, conflicts, obstacles in relationship. So if we are talking about it, if we are writing about it, then we can take action and then we will get better because I'm also learning and I'm also experiencing the transformation. No one is perfect. In fact, you have what, you still have a lot of, of wisdom to share on this platform that myself and my husband, we also learn from it and take action because we are all learning and there's no perfect. Okay, let me not waste your time, but I just want to quickly remind you, yes, we are going to to two, but we still need to launch our magazine. You see the story of uh, Ambassador Odukoya Olani, we have gathered almost 35 testimonies. And we don't have enough time for all of them to come and share it on this platform. So what we've done is our next, uh, what we've done is we have compiled everything into our anniversary magazine. So we are launching it today. And during the week, please let me rest. I'm going to rest for at least two days before we do all the paperwork. Everyone will get a free copy of the magazine and certificates and award. So be an expert. But 
I will need your email because my phone is not working properly anymore. You know the reason why. Okay, so let me hand over to our chairpersons to continue. Yes, we are continuing uh, after our amazing Ola Neal. He gave us such a source of inspiration and motivation. How can we continue and how can we work uh, great if we want to achieve something? And yes, Dr. Queen, you are really helpful. You help him a lot, encourage him during his uh, during his time of the education. We are really thankful to you. Now, after our great ambassador Olanieli, we are still in Africa, but we are moving to South Africa. And here we have a family. We have a mother and a beautiful daughter. So let me first call our amazing Professor Dr. Ambassador Mikran Mia. Welcome, Professor Dr. Ambassador Mikran. And please share with us what you write in your chapter. And yes, what your daughter is doing here with us because she is presenting our amazing youth. She is so beautiful, so young and so smart. And we are really honored to have her with us here at Yes You Can International. And Dr. Queen, also we have some news for this family of ambassador dr mihran am i right yes I let's add speak first and then we will yes. deliver okay. the news yes dr mia welcome and you can enlighten us now thank you thank you so much my dear professor nada and my honorable queen elizabeth lucas um it's so lovely to see uh, professor charles here at diana Dr. Soraya um, and everyone who's been here, and what an inspiration from um, Ambassador Olani. Um, to Nigeria, we celebrate with you and we celebrate and we know that there's going to be better to come for Nigeria in the future as well. So blessings to everyone there. Um, I did speak on Friday a little bit about my, my, my portion of the book and the book itself. And I have to say, I'll just reiterate that what I wrote about was um, the emotional intelligent person versus you and how that impacts on your relationships and how important you being emotionally intelligent is in order for you to have good relationships. And like I said before, I'm not gonna give away too much of the chapter and the book itself, but um, when I was writing, a lot of what I experienced was, was, was what came forth. Um, and if I did not become in tune with myself, if I did not make myself intelligent enough about the emotional trauma I had gone through recently or in the past two years, then I would not have been able to grow through it and become better. And it takes um, inspiration like the team at YYCI, like um, Dr. Queen Elizabeth, who helps us to push us through, that regardless of whatever we are facing in adversity, we still persevere. Beautiful, Dr., uh, you know, Professor Nada, people at IIU, we're also very um, supportive to keep going, Marine, keep going, you know, don't stop what you are doing because there's purpose behind it. So the constant support structures make us more aware that we have purpose. And that purpose has to be aligned with you seeing that you have the purpose. And when you become emotionally intelligent about yourself, then that is your self-driven purpose. So the more you become intelligent about your emotions, the easier it's going to be for you to handle whatever conflicts come your way. And that helps you build better relationships with people, with um, everybody around you, with networking across the globe. So that is basically what I wrote about. Um, and a lot is not just theory based. A lot of it is life based. And I just feel that there will be people around the world that will pick up every one of these volumes, not just the one I wrote in, but every one of them. And they will read something that will impact their lives positively, that will change their lives for the better. And that was the aim um, of my words. I think that is the aim of everyone who wrote here, that we're trying to make positive changes in people's lives. Um, we might not be able to get there personally, but through, through chances and opportunities like this has been given to us, we're able to reach our people. Um, and that is what I wrote about. And thank you also um, for mentioning Azra. Um, it's a, it's our, you know, she's a gift to me. She's a gift to, I think, humanity. And I'm just trying my best to prune her um, and develop the passion that she has for what she's doing. So we pray for her, for all of our youth in the world, 
because every one of them should be given the chances to be the best that they can be. So thank you very much, Professor Nada, again, and thank you, my yeah. Honourable Queen Elizabeth. Thank um, you. And thank you, our FBI. Thank you so much, dear, respected Professor Dr. Ambassador Mihran. Uh, yes, we like uh, your work. We really appreciate you. Lots of love. And now I want to also call your beautiful, your beautiful girl, your beautiful gift, as you say, our great Azra. Azra, please uh, gave us uh, such a new energy and fresh energy here today on this third day of the three year celebration. Yes, thank you so much, Professor Nada. It's truly an honor for me to be here, especially with my mom. And before I start, I just want to say that without my mom, this wouldn't even be possible. So I'm really honored for this opportunity and definitely indeed so grateful that Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas, Lucas had accepted my words personally. Um, thank you so much for that. And in my chapter of the book, I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm just going to give you a quick like what it is. Um, I speak of teens and youth with their relationships. So it's basically highlighting how every relationship is important and for us, and it helps us to define who we are, especially the ones who, who, who that we have with our families, with our parents, with our grandparents, with our great grandparents as well. Um, and I know mine is definitely one of them is with my mom. And it's the most important because without my mom, I wouldn't have that, I wouldn't have that amazing relationship that I have now. And it has a beautiful one and it indeed helps me a lot. And as you get older, you realize that relationships will definitely be more important. And as you grow, you learn from different relationships throughout your life as well. So that's something that I speak about in my chapter. And I hope that a lot of the youth can learn from it and learn why it's important to keep a stable relationship as well. So thank you so much, Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas. Thank you to Professor Nada as well. And thank you to everyone for being here for this amazing book launch. Thank you. Okay, well done, well done. Ah, what an amazing moment that we have together. You know, one thing unique, one, one unique thing in, uh, that is so unique in YYCI is when we involve family. And you can see the reason why relationship is so important because relationship in family can heal the world. If you can agree with me, they say charity begins at home. Relationship in the family can solve half of our problems in this world. I believe you are agreeing with me. Relationship in the family is the backbone of every economic, political, religious, everything you can think of in this world. And that is why it is so, so, so important. And I'm so blessed that I have the permission to be involving the children, the youth, the teenagers, the adults to participate in our crusade, our conference, our masterclasses. And also what also that is so unique about them is that they are not only here to speak. I have the responsible of their lifestyle, their well-being. So some of them, they personally, through their mother, they phone me, they text me, they tell me about their involvement. They tell me about their activities. They even tell me about how they are doing well in class. So it's like, wow. I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. The other time, I didn't know why I'm going to chase her up, uh, Ambassador Manet. I mean, she had A stars in her class. She quickly called me and texted me and let me know. And many more like that. Even Ambassador Asia is doing well. She is doing something that all of you are going to hear about concerning the youth of YYCI in South Africa. I'm still folding my arms. You know, the unique, the, the unique part of it is that I don't have to tell anybody to do anything. I don't have to. 
They will just say, oh, ma'am, I want to organize this. Ma'am, I want to do this. Ma'am, I mean, look at the surprises we've been getting with all these videos. With this trans, with this, uh, this our third year anniversary. I didn't, I didn't have, it's what you know that you will ask people to do for you. I don't have a clue. I only said to the world, we need to celebrate this, uh, this anniversary in a unique way. And I want everyone to be empowered by writing their book or their chapters. That's the only instructions given. And everybody gone far. Professor Antonio, Professor uh, Raymond, my own PA. In fact, my PA, I have to exclude, I have to, uh, exclude him today. He's been sleeping 3 o'clock a.m. every day. Just preparation of this. He's a young man. He doesn't have to do this. He can choose to play around with others. But he chose to sit up and listen to my instructions. And my instructions is not easy. It's not easy at all. Because I like to be impressed about what you do for us. So several times I've said, go and do this one again. Go and do it again. Go and do it again. And he is always ready. Even if I say, go and do it for 10 times, he's ready. And by the time you finish after 10 times, he also will be happy that he bring this thing up and he did it well. He's not a designer, but most of my works, he designed it. You don't have to be experts in doing things. You can learn many skills. If I want to bore you this morning or this afternoon of how many skills I personally developed my 35 years here in UK, you will be surprised. I'm a go-getter and nothing is, everything is possible. That's what I believe. So when I say, yes, you can, I'm already saying it to myself, yes, I can. And if I can, you can. And we can. So it's not just a slang. It's a powerful word for, force for everyone to hold on to it and do whatever they dream of, whatever they desire, whatever they want to achieve and succeed. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. And yes, they can. And that is what I love about this Yes, You Can International. So I want to express my gratitude to Professor Dr. Ambassador Mary Mia. Thank you. And thank you so much for your commitment. Thank you for the great works you are doing in South Africa. I don't have to be there to supervise you. You are a great leader. You, you are even doing more than what I'm doing because I'm just a servant. Because I'm just a servant. I don't have to do everything all of you are doing. Imagine me saying that I want to do everything Professor Nada is doing. I will just break down quickly. Because Professor Manada is so full of energy. Oh, I want to do what uh, uh, Professor Charles is doing. Wow. In fact, that means I'm ready to go to heaven. Because I cannot. I have to do the little I can do. I need to be myself, be the best of me and enjoy lives. I don't need to wait till, like I tell people, you don't need to wait till you are diseased, that you have everything before you enjoy your lives. You don't have to wait till you retire before you enjoy your lives. You don't have to reach a certain age before you enjoy your lives. Life is like, it, it, life is too short, but you have to enjoy it. I'm sure some of you knows my age, but I don't leave my age. I'm teenager. I still dress, I still work, I still talk, I still chat, I still, I'm still stubborn like a teenager. Because there's this young heart here. And I want to enjoy every bit of it as long as I wake up in the morning and I'm still alive. Because when there is life, there is hope. And that is why I'm giving whatever I can give out, give myself out. I don't have money to give anybody. I'm sure some of my mentees, they know that. 
When they come to me, don't expect me to give you any money because I'm not giving you money. It is not money you want. You want my wisdom. I will teach you how to catch fish so that when the fish is finished, you can do it yourself. And when you do it yourself, you can train other people as well to do the same thing. That's my philosophy. So if you come to me with money, you'll be disappointed because I don't have money in my bank. I don't work with money. God bless me abundantly. If I want to eat anything I want to eat, I will eat it without even buying it. I work with God for 40 years. And that is what I'm doing. So I appreciate you, ma'am. Whatever you're doing for your child, whatever you're doing for the community, God will definitely reward you. And to my beautiful young Asra, thank you for joining us. Thank you for what you're doing out there. Thank you for making your mom proud of you. Thank you. We've seen Prince, Jason, every one of them. They are so free because it's a home of family, a home of relationship, a home of love. It's not just ordinary organization. Yes, it is not NGO. I always tell people, YYCI is not NGO. We register it as a private company, paying tax and paying other things. But God is our source. I follow the instruction of God that during this COVID, you must not charge anybody. I say, yes, sir. Lead me through. I go wherever you want me to go. I do whatever you want me to do, yes, sir. And then to have an amazing husband. Because it's not easy to use your whole life, your whole resources to run this organization and nothing is coming. It's not easy. It takes the better understanding of your husband to accept that. And I want to give God the glory for the amazing husband of 32 years. We've lived together, worked together. We don't know it all, but we are learning from you all. And then to my own wonderful children as well. I will not bore you too much, but I just, I was just, I was just full of praise when I see Professor Mary and her daughter and also uh, Ambassador Dr. Rajao with his children and also everybody with their own. I'm appreciating it because you are making YYC unique. You are making YYCI stand out. You are making, you are giving us the power, the strength to reach out to many and let them know that all things are possible. Okay, enough of my talking. Sorry. <laughs> that is why, because well, I know I was, that I, I know I that, uh, I, I, know that my, I know that my name and my picture also was shown in that. Uh, in that uh, video that I'm also an author. <laughs> so, that is, so that is my... <laughs> okay. Can I, I just want to say one thing quickly to Queen Elizabeth Lucas. Um, you know, it's I know we're celebrating your three years of RYCI, but in all of this, I think I mostly would just celebrate you. I celebrate you. I, you know, you brought me to tears just yeah. now, not just with words, but because you speak your heart. And that I think is the ideal leadership quality we all look for. As you know, when we look for a mentor, that's the best we can find. It's not the monetary value that somebody can give you. It is somebody who can lead you with their heart. And with that heart, you have grown so many people across the globe, leave alone myself and Azra. So I, I don't, you know, I thank God. I thank God, of course, for every blessing that we that I have, that we have. But I thank God for placing you in our lives and all of our lives because you impact us so beautifully. And I give credit to you and I thank you. I'm emotional now, but I do say thank you. I thank, thank you. you and I thank God for you on our journey. So bless you. you. And thank here's you. many, many your years together with, with WOW ICI. Thank God you. bless you, man. Uh, there's still another assignment that you need to do during this. Uh, you sent me a very beautiful poem. 
But before you say that poem, because I want you to share, the poem is actually for this anniversary. It's already on the uh, magazine, but I want to permit us to share the poem for us here today. But before then, may I make my own announcement? <laughs> Thank you so much for your commitment to YYCI for the past three years. Thank you so much for bringing your daughter also to involve in us. And this is our, our expression that we still need you for the next few years to stay with us and to be committed. So early this morning, we have appointed the president of South Africa, and which is the name of uh, Professor Ravinda Rena, if you know him. And, yes, I do. Okay. And at this stage, I would like to say you are the vice president of YYCI South <laughs> Africa. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for that honor. Oh, Thank my you, word. Sir. Thank you very and, much. Thank you. So and blessed. also, we are not done yet. We are also appointing our wonderful young ambassador. Um, Ambassador Azra F. Mir to be our youth director of YYCI South Africa. Thank you so much. Wow. So much. Oh my God. Wow. Thank you so much. This is such an opportunity and thank you. It's really an honor. Okay. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we are working together. Okay, so before we hand over to Professor um, Nada and uh, Dr. Ediana, can you please uh, share the poem, please? Professor Ambassador Mary, the poem. Yes, ma'am, I just want to get it up quickly. Do you want to show the slides? Do you want me to... Give it the power. Okay. I'll um, no, I'll just think it out. That's okay. Yeah, really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We are listening. Thank you so much for your patience. Today is our lovely day. Uh, the reason <laughs> why you. we have a long day today yeah. is because many people gone to church this morning and uh, we need to allow them to go and worship God before they join us because they will definitely pray for us. And that is why we are staying longer today, being the grand finale of this anniversary. So thank you for your patience. I can see, I noticed that Bishop Ambassador Dr. Nelson is coming back. Thank you so much. I hope you, we, you pray for us during your service. And I can see that our doctor, our matron, Dr. Aika is joining us as well. So we have during lots. our worship, I yes. I prayed for everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so let us continue with Professor Ambassador Mary. Yes. So the poem was titled um, "Growth Within and with YYCI," and I wrote this specifically because of what I was enduring through the time, and when I was writing my chapter, how it all affected me and how it came together. And I felt that through YYCI and through Dr. Elizabeth Lucas, there was a lot of encouragement, you know, like I got from many other resources, from people at IIU, from people at Chopaka, which is Dr. Elka. There was a lot of support from many people. But I wrote this poem specifically for this because YYCI and Dr. Elizabeth have a very special place, and this is not an offense to anybody else, um, but she knows why. So the poem goes like this, growth within and with YYCI. Together we develop, together we educate, together we grow, Together we replicate. Learning together, embracing one another. Together we grow in developing the latter. Educating each other, transforming one another. Together we grow, benefiting humanity further. Respecting each other, loving one another. Together we grow to guide the builder. Acknowledging one another, and building within ourselves further. Together we grow, enhancing the mindset growth for the better. We are never alone. We are never to despair. With Yes You Can International, we always will grow to repair. Thank you, dearest YYCI. Thank you to my dearest queen. With you, I grew to develop my eye. God's blessings will always allow us to, to win. 
This is a poem from me dedicated to our Honorable Queen and to our ICI. God bless everyone. Thank you so much, Professor Dr. Mary, for the poem. And that poem is also on our anniversary magazine, which we will be launching later today. I think that will be the job that I'm going to be handing over to one of our share person. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's move on. Professor Nada, we still have, I think, yeah. a Professor Antonio Baxter has joined us again. Maybe he can share his chapter. Uh, Dr. Queen, we have also uh, our great uh, professor from Canada. Uh, he joined us, uh, Dr. Edward Mondolo. Uh, maybe he would like to say something to us. Okay. Dr. Edward from Canada, please welcome, Dr. Edward. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Sorry, I can't use the camera. That's fine. But uh, with my health issues, not feeling very well, but... I like to um, congratulate uh, the YIES uh, UK International family. I would say everyone, including our beloved Queen, uh, everyone, all the dignitaries. Um, I uh, we at this moment, I think we should uh, bring this positive vibe to everyone and uh, bring the world to change and show our love and passion so thank you very much and you're doing awesome and great job sharing caring which is very important right now thank you very much god bless you god, god bless, bless you too. dr edward and we are praying for you for your health and we wish you a fast recovery and we wish that we will see you very soon with us together amen god bless you yes god bless you and then we continue to pray for you as well that uh, you will overcome the challenges of health and uh, you will bounce back and become strong to be able to fulfill your purpose on earth and also to continue to impact into other people's lives so we keep praying for you professor dr edward Modo from canada he is also our director already from Canada, he's the, the, the Professor Edward Murdoch is the director of YYCI Canada. So we continue to oppose you in prayers. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, over to you. Should we call on um, Antonio? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Professor, Professor Antonio, uh, are you available? Book? Are you Inside? available? Professor Antonio? Okay. If that no. is the case, we will move on to introduce our. We have Bolatio Ladapo no. Yes, yeah, she won't be able to speak because she's driving. Still driving, okay. Yes, yeah, she's driving. Anybody that wants to say anything, Dr. Kampala Dixon, you want to say something today before we move on to our launching of our magazine? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Queen, I think that we can move to the launching. Yeah, and Dr. Yeah. Kampala Dixon. Okay, if that is the case, so let's move on. Oh, sorry, we're showing the last one. Hold on. So oh. we are. Did... Don't worry, it's okay. Okay, I need to share. Sorry. Okay, right. So this is the book. Um, this is the uh, magazine cover that we are going to be sharing it and giving to all our participants since the beginning of this anniversary. In front of the magazine that we have myself as the founder, we also have my husband. We have all our matrons and patrons and my own personal mentors with my PA in front of this magazine to show their commitment. I mean, to show, to show appreciation to their commitment to this, our anniversary. 
Majority of them uh, you've been seeing because they've been joining us. They've been sharing all their thoughts, their wisdom, their experience, and their knowledge. And we really just want to use this, our anniversary, to um, appreciate them. And that is why we have added them in front of this magazine. Some of them are royal majesty kings. We have the King Promise. We have King uh, Clive Rivers from, from Rivers and um, from USA. We have King, King Promise and King Adishina from Nigeria. We also have Bishop Nelson. We have Dr. Rajal. We have Reverend Akabio. We have our mother, uh, Matron. Um, Our Excellence, um, uh, Royal Majesty, Queen Nadia. We have Professor Caroline. We also have our wonderful matron, um, um, Dr. Aika. We have Dr. Duffy. We also have um, Professor Aspera. We have my own personal uh, mentors, uh, Professor Charles. Professor S uh, TPS Sasikuma and Professor Regunat Parakat, and also my own personal secretary. I want to appreciate them because they're always there. You might not be able to see them every time because they are all busy with their um, kingdom, their palace, their organization, but they always, always communicate with me with behind the scene, seeing that we are doing a fantastic job. And they also encourage me with their words of wisdom. So I want to say thank you so much on our journey to the next level. So um, Professor, Topo, uh, Professor TPS Sashikuma is actually here in London but he's been invited to a great conference going on in the city. So that is why he was not able to join us for this anniversary. But we communicated and I am planning personally to meet him before he traveled back to India. So that's by the wayside. Permit me also, my husband is not here yet. He's still on his way coming from church, but permits me to just announce uh, with the permission from everyone and with the order and every other things that bestowed in me to, to appoint my husband as the co-founder of Yes You Can International. This oh. will be a surprise because until he comes home, he will not know this appointment. But just for me, for Video Dr. Sale. Queen, don't be sure. Maybe he is listening you now. <laughs> don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, now I want to uh, just give you the clings of one particular person that's supposed to be here, that she's not here, but she's among those um, 35 great leaders and members of YYCR that have shared their own testimony. So I just think we should play this and then I'll be able to share you share the magazine. Greetings everyone. My name is Ambassador Mary Ann Chien Obariku from Nigeria. It's a great pleasure for me in expressing my congratulations on the three years anniversary of Yes Can International. This organization started three years ago with just more members formed by our wonderful leader. Professor Dr. Elizabeth Lucas to inspire, positively impact, and bring out the best in people. And today, it has expanded a great organization with other organizations all over the world collaborating with us and also forming state branches, and of which I am one of the coordinators of a state in my own country. Yes, Yukon International has positively impacted a lot in me, stating from I was once a timid and a shy person to becoming a great and confident leader, an international speaker, a graphic designer, and a creative video editor. It made me know what I want in life and pushing forward to achieving them. It 
It has helped me a lot and I will always appreciate the organization and our dearly beloved doctor Elizabeth Lucas for everything she has done for me. Happy 3th anniversary to our great organization, Yetika International. We are unstoppable. Once again, I am Ambassador Mary Ann Chinye Obariki, the YYCI Global Social Secretary and Ebony State Coordinator. Thank you all. Let's open up. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Let me see if I can get it right. I will always get it right anyway. <laughs> ah, so much I've learned from all this technology. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm going to share with you the the magazine. What am I doing? Okay. So this is our magazine, Addicted and Don't Everything About This. I compile everything together, but I have to give it to my PA to finalize it. I hope you are seeing it. So in that magazine, we've shared the, the mission of uh, YYCI and the goals. And then this is my welcoming speech. Can you all see it? Is it audible? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that is uh, my king as the co-founder of YYCI. This is his own book being launched by YYCI. This is one of our leader and he's also shared his own blessings to us. So he's also the king. And this is uh, my PA to appreciate him. He's shared his own testimonial. This is Bishop. He's blessed us as well in this magazine. And this is uh, my mentor. He's also blessed us with his own wisdom. This is one of our matron, uh, Dr. Daphne Sewer is also shared with us. This is also one of our patron empowering us with his own speech. Uh, Dr. Rajao, this is the children. I love them so much. They are part of us from the beginning to this time and they are growing and doing great things. So, and this is uh, a matron as well, uh, Professor Caroline from India, sharing, uh, sharing our blessings. This is uh, Reverend Professor Anefok Akpabio uh, from Nigeria. Uh, I'm sure some people will familiar themselves with this uh, great leader. He's the founder of uh, International Intensive University celebrating with us on our third anniversary. And this is his own blessing. Professor, I mean, Sir Pius Pandit, thank you so much, sir, for celebrating with us. So this is his own input. This is also my mentor, Professor Dr. TPS Sasikuma, uh, my own personal mentor. And this is his own blessing. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for our great uh, mentor and um, ambassador, but I think at the moment he's involved in so many, many He's meetings. on the travel in, uh, from Travels. Singapore to Philippines. Yes. He's already going traveling yes. every day. New yes. place, destination. Yes, our great know. Dr. Kratik. Yes, but at least he has time to contribute to the book and also contribute also to the magazine because I let him really make sure that he's part of it. So that is his own as well. Um, my, yeah, that is his own gratitude. And this is Ambassador Ju Arise. He joined us this afternoon. I mean, this morning as, as well, he was sharing with us. And this is uh, Ambassador Queen Victoria from Nigeria. This is our birthday uh, <laughs> birthday man today. 
um, Dr. I mean Professor Antonio. So this is on, and we have another leader, Ahmed Fagnon from Liberia, sharing with us. And this is our professor, Professor um, Professor Patricia. This is our own contribution. We also have a great leader in Nigeria. Um, um, Chief Ambassador Inkuru Kakduru is the founder of United Business Women Association Nigeria. She is really doing a great job over there. She is also our own women, African Women Ambassador for YYCI. So she is also joining us and contributing. This is also one of our own, uh, Dr. Oshidiji Emmanuel Oluatosi. This is our leader from Georgia, um, Ambassador Mala. Thank you for contributing. We also have another person here by the name of uh, Ambassador Lonsi contributing. Our counselor here from Nigeria, from United Kingdom. She was with us yesterday and on Friday to share with us. She also contributed, and that's the name of Counselor. Professor Dr. Augusta Elizabeth Koroma is also is the can she is counselor of one of our borough here in the United Kingdom. And then we move on to our lady. You heard us speaking, and this is our own Ambassador Mariam Chinere Umbawikwe. So we have also our great leader that has given us all our ex all uh, given us all his expertise on video all the videos we've been playing on this, he was the one providing for us from his own organization free of charge. It's like he said it, he said this is his own gift to us. We appreciate you, sir, uh, Professor Raymond. Going on, man of my baby, uh, engineer, ambassador, Dr. Adiremi, he also contributed. You've listened to our wonderful ambassador Udukoya Olani Yolaleko from Nigeria today, while he was sharing his own testimony and his chapter. I won't announce much about this because you already know our newly vice president of YYCI South Africa, Professor Dr. Mary Mia. Thank you so much, ma'am. And also, um, it's written a lot and also, her daughter is also with us in the magazine. And this is the poem that she shared with us. Uh, it's on the magazine as well. My, our wonderful vice president of Pakistan, um, Ambassador Dr. Samina Ellen is Evelyn is also part of it. And one of our ambassadors from Liberia, Alexandra Page, also contributed. Um, one of us, a leader from South, uh, from Syria alone, also joined us. He's also the director of Syria alone YYCI. We also have your, I think you were here when he, when uh, Professor um, Ambassador Afolabi was also sharing with us. Powerful message he shared with us today. Um, his name is Ambassador Advocate Soveo, Dr. Afolabi Timothy Olaniyo. He also joined us today. He's actually the president, uh, the YYC president of all our global young ambassadors. So, and he has his own organization as well. I went to Nigeria last year and he, he, he and his team surprised us. That's why I'm putting on the muffler today. They surprised me and my husband with amazing, amazing appointments and certificates and awards. So you can see I was like, I was like, Afri I was looking Africanish. <laughs> okay, right. So we also have warm greetings from uh, the chairman of um, AHRI, Access Human Rights International. We also working together, collaborating together. He was with me here in UK during the summertime and we had a good time. 
We also have one of our ambassador, Emmanuel, contributing to this magazine, my own um, direct um, manager of media and uh, YYCI.TV YouTube channel manager. He also contributed by uh, Ambassador Inda Da Ofri. Uh, we also have one of our leader. He's doing great work there with his organization, um, Ambassador Ida Da. Um, no, Ambassador, let me see the name, if I can get it, Joshua Adara. Okay, so contributed. I'm sure you are familiar with our great leader. He just uh, got married uh, either, uh, during summertime. So probably they are still in honeymoon or is is working hard. You know him, Ambassador Nu Ahmed. He was once one of our great moderator and also the general secretary of YYCI. So we wish him all the best. Probably they are still doing their honeymoon or there's a lot for him to go through before um, other things come up. So I wish them all the best, but we see him very soon. Okay, yes, Ambassador L.N. Nu Ahmed. We also have one of our entrepreneurs, uh, Elizabeth Sosonya Kende is the CEO of Ola Format. If you listen to her story, wow, it's amazing. And when, when she first joined YYCI or connected with me, she, she wasn't doing anything. She was actually asking for money. And I said, I don't give money. I said, go back and think of what you are going to do for your future. She's married, very young, and also has two or three children. Six months after she came back to me and then gave me a vision. So both of us worked together and I'm pleased to let you know that now she has one or two businesses she's running and she is doing very well uh, supporting her husband and also supporting her children. So her name is Sosonya Elizabeth Kende from Nigeria. I also have one of us that is um, the chief uh, immigration officer from Nigeria. He's also one of my good, good mentees. We have great leaders in our midst. Um, we also have uh, Ambassador Sonatan from um, India, great teacher, English teacher. He's been running the English school for many years. If I think about 25 years now, he is doing well. I'm sure he's still in our midst or maybe he's moved on. So we want to congratulate him. He's also one of our co-authors today. I think he's spoken today already. And he's also contributed to this magazine to share to us his experience with us and also to celebrate with us. We also have our brother, Ambassador Professor Adeogun Kayode. We also have our own and very own Ambassador Dr. Joel Olalinyo. I think you've listened to one of his tapes today and he is also contributing to this magazine. We have, now imagine we have almost 40 contributors for this magazine. And I want to say thank you for your testimonies, your wishes, your blessings, your prayers, your love. I really appreciate you all. And that is why this magazine will be given to everyone, all our members, our co uh, coordinators, all our leaders, all our collaborators and partners, everyone that participated in this, our event for three days, everyone will get the free copy of this, uh, of this magazine, plus awards and certificates. So congratulations to you all. This is one of our reports of um, Transformation Leadership Conference. We just put out one of it so that you will know um, how we've really been blessed by all our speakers. So this is our editorial uh, leader and also prayer leader. Um, the name of Ambassador Gumati Prasanti. At the moment, he's working on a PhD in India, and that is why he might not be able to join us. I think he joined us on Friday. So we love her. 
and we appreciate her. So this is the report of one of our conference. And we have all the pictures of some of our conferences and what we've done so far, so that you know that we are working and we are progressing and we are moving on. This same book, we launched it in July, the, the volume first, with our great leaders, Young Heart, they shared with us on how we can build, maintain, and keep any relationship. The book is still available on Amazon. If you want to grab all the volumes, volume one, volume two, volume three, and volume four. For well done to all our co-authors, well done to all our great leaders, and congratulations to you all. So this is just the program, you will find it there, of the advance of authorship masterclass to everyone that is interested. This is the book that we've written and published so far of the one that we did together with my um, PA, my husband looking glamorous there and smiling and proud of himself for being a hotel. I'm so proud of my husband. I love him so much. And then these other books. And then this program, this lady sent a video to us. She's also co-author. This is what she does. At the presently, she's at Ethiopia doing the same program. And we are blessed to have her around as our entrepreneur ambassador. Thank you also for all the wishes from Professor Dr. Vijay Caroline. Thank you so much, man. And Dr. Rajao for, for sharing and also wishing us happy anniversary. I also want to appreciate Ambassador Dr. Lonson also for doing that, I mean, sharing and also celebrating with us. So, so far, so good. I also want to appreciate Bishop, Bishop Ambassador Dr. Nelson Pervers. He has his own ministry, his own organization. He is an ambassador, word ambassador peace. I mean, peace, peace ambassador. So he's working hard. He's always with us. He's also representing us. He just have a very fantastic trip for the, since uh, June or May. He came to London, from London to Croatia, uh, to, from London to South or North Korea. So he went to USA. Uh, he's just traveling all over the world because he is the peace ambassador and we appreciate him. And he still have time to join us on every of our program. Thank you, sir. We, watch, we, we, we love you and we appreciate you. And this is the end of this magazine and it is available right away just give us patient just be patient with us and we'll be able to send it to all of you thank you for listening and this has been a wonderful time ah okay <laughs> so what's not next professor nada okay now at the moment, I've seen Professor Antoni. Maybe he would like to share a few lines from his own chapter. Professor Antoni Baxter, do you want to share your book with us? Uh, Professor Antonio, do you hear us? Uh, you uh, you talk uh, exactly about our Dr. Queen, but we want you now to share what you write in your chapter in the book, please. Professor Antonio, unmute yourself. If you want, today is your birthday, so we can understand if you can't. Well, he can because he's nodding his head, so he will share with us. <laughs> he's making, yes, he will. Uh, Dr. Queen, we also have here Arian Rufi. So yes, maybe... yes we, we will call them. Thank you so much yes. for letting me know. But we have our matron that have been speaking to us since morning, 
And it, it, she told me she has pro, pro surprises. So immediately after um, Professor Antoni, if he's <clears> going <throat> to share with us, but well, I think there's something wrong with the connection. Uh, yes. Permit me to hand over to Dr. Aika Mahaja. Dr. Alka, do you hear us? Dr. Alka has some problem network, so maybe. Yes, I no, am. no, 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 it's no problem. No problem yes. at all. Ooh, oh. Look at that. It looks so beautiful, Dr. Alka. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me align her properly. Let I her. just, wow. I was today enjoying the show for the last one hour that I joined. Uh, and I was thinking that I had almost missed it, but of course I didn't because I was here for the last one hour <laughs> listening to such powerful, inspirational nuggets of wisdom that are sustainable, that are tenacious, that are, you know, that one can keep in order to have a beautiful life and, you know, convert planet Earth into a beautiful planet. But once again, greetings of love, peace and happiness. And uh, once again, a big, big congratulations to Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth. Wow. And also to your husband, to all the new appointments, the ones that I heard over here today, Professor Ravindra Rana from South Africa, um, Professor Dr. Mehreen, the Vice President, Ambassador Azra Mia, uh, who is the youth uh, leader, the youth pres director, I believe, uh, for YYCI. And uh, also, I think there were others also as well. But uh, yes, the most Doctor. important. The yeah. most important, Professor <laughs> Dr. King Lucas, oh, the co-founder okay. of Why <laughs> YYCI. I was listening to all, and believe me, I was all ears. I was all ears. Though I had a very long day, I was feeling a little tired, but yeah. I was listening to each and every word. The way you showed the magazine, however, I found my uh, my little write-up about YYCI a little oh, missing. Oh, maybe no. it was there, maybe I missed it. Uh, no, we will add it. We will add it. It's just too, yeah, we will add it. No. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm always there in the spirit. Yes. I'm always there. And I was there. I'm so even though sorry I wasn't about that. The I'm very so beginning. sorry. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I mean, it was lovely to see so many wonderful people, uh, you know, supporting, empowering, because, you know, it's the support of course one we, another. Of course, we, 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 we will. Of course, yeah. we will not miss our matron's uh, blessings <laughs> on magazine. That's okay. No I'm always way. there in the spirit. No, I no, crazy. not only in the spirit. We're going to add it to it. That uh, magazine is not complete if we don't have our matron's <laughs> blessing. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I totally understand. But yeah, but the thing is, you know, this the platform is powerful. And um, uh, I wanted to, you know, quickly, I'll just say two, three things. Number one, no, no lectures, no, no inspiration. We've got so much of it and it was so wonderful that I don't, I want to still, you know, enjoy those flavors of inspiration coming in, those powerful words, you know, coming in. I want to keep them with me for a long, long time, but I want to give you a couple of surprises. The first surprise is exclusively for... Should uh, I sit down <laughs> properly? <laughs> <laughs> for the first surprise, Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth and her wonderful husband, wow. Professor Dr. King Lucas, a special show exclusively for them, wow. which is uh, which is love and sanguinity through the decades. Yeah. I will take I will take their time and this show will be aired and all of you are invited. You could join online or you could also join the Zoom or you could see it on live, whichever way, but please do join whenever that happens. This is a show about the power couple. And I think this is totally dedicated to them wow. uh, from Chilparco International. So uh, <laughs> a little special for the power couple for the couple who are transforming lives transforming mindsets and making planet earth truly truly wonderful thank you but thank um you. not only that you know for <laughs> all of you for all of you yes so you know because we all over here are together in this journey so um on the 21st uh, chill parker international is organizing the wireless connect and not that day because we have a lot of speakers, but the very next day, October 22nd, which is a Sunday, I'm sure all of you could join one and for just, a, it's a short program for about one and a half to two hours. And this program will be, uh, 
YYCI and CI, which is wow. Yes, You Can and Chilparko. And, you know, we believe I'm giving you, you know, um, six words now. So the six words are, everyone, conceive, believe, achieve, because yes, you can. And this is this is going to be the logo. And, um, you know, we are going to be doing a program where we will be awarding the, the inspirational writers who are transforming lives through their powerful narratives. So all of you have such wonderful stories to share. You will all be speaking for three minutes each. Plus, you are going to be honored by the queen, by the king, wow. and by Chilparco International. Oh, so my basically... God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and that's not all. Oh my God. <laughs> the next one. The next <laughs> one is that, you know, <laughs> we have a book wizards club. Wow. I will share the, the link of that club with uh, my queen sister. And uh, she can, whenever she feels, share it with all of you on the group, on the YYCI group. All of you can join that group. Because over there, we keep on the ones who are already there, like I have my sister Marine there. So she knows that we keep on talking about books. There is nothing, you know, there is no hello, hi kind of talks. It's only talks relating to books. We share powerful books, you know, over there for everyone to read. We share narratives for everyone to read, get inspired and stay motivated and stay aligned to their life purpose. If you would like to join that, we are giving you, you know, that access to join the book wizards mm -hmm. with the permission of the queen because it's her yes. anniversary, a YYCI, and we like to do things together. And we believe in sustainability and the power of words. You know, words have energy. Whatever you say makes an impact on an individual. So you can make a life, you can break a life. It's all about words. Words have power, words have energy. So through this powerful narrative, so be it poetry, be it an anecdote, be it your life experience, be it a book that you have read and you would like to share with others, this is what that group is all about. And we want all the like-minded, voracious readers and voracious writers to join that. So that is Book Wizards, the Book Wizards Club and um, that is my, you know, on this special day, the third anniversary of, um, it's my family too, you know, we have been family and uh, though we have our own, uh, you know, own uh, agendas, we have our own, you know, th th lots of commitments, but you know, it's never that, you know, why, why CI is out of my mind or CI is out of my queen sister's mind. So it's, it's like, we're always there. We know, we know. So, you know, um, that is the beauty of a relationship. So since it was a relationship episode, you know, it was totally about relationship. It was the best moment to announce this. And I didn't even tell her. I didn't even tell my queen yes, sister. This and this surprise. has just come on now. <laughs> and I just yesterday shared it that I will be saying all this. But everyone who was here, everyone who has joined, that, you know, you will definitely be honored with the tenacious writer. But that will be after uh, the 21st. Because, you know, uh, I think in India, we begin with the festive season in this month. And also all over the world, all over globally also, you know, we begin with festivities because we're going to we're going to be having a lot of Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, we have uh, what's that Halloween coming up and we have lots of um, you know festivals in India like Diwali and Bushera. And of course, we have Christmas coming up and we have the new year coming up. So there's so many festivities. So this is the first surprise beginning the festive months of October, November, and December from YYCI and CI. So um, that is what I had to share with all of you. And also, whenever, you know, um, when you are once part of the Book Wizards, uh, we will also be interviewing you one by one, you know, so you can talk about a book that has impacted you, or you could also talk about a book that you have written or poetry that you have written and you can share it with the world. So amazing. This is what amazing, I had to say. <laughs> amazing, 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 amazing. Congratulations and thank you so much for all the great 
surprises thank that you, you to about. our um you know to our mentor over here professor charles thank it's uh, it's been a long time but i love that uh, heart that you've shared thank you so much and i'm receiving it and thank, thank you azra you. i'm thank taking you. it because thank i you. love heart thank, I you. thank love you so much and this is so powerful when it comes to relationship when it comes to friendship thank when you when it comes Herdian. to family uh this is so powerful and I want to say thank you so much for these surprises. Wow, wow. I mean, it, it shows that we are doing what we are doing with our, from our heart. It shows that we are doing it with love. It shows that we are in the spirit together. It shows, that, uh, what, it, it shows <laughs> that what we are doing is for us and is for others. And thank it you shows for all the hearts. And then I, we just are... to budget. I just had to budget. I just had to budget. Yeah, it shows that we uh we can accommodate ourselves, we can work together, we can change the scenario, we can change the situation, we can with make our love. relationship better with love, with, love. with peace, with, with peace. smiles, so thank with you so positivity. Much. <laughs> thank you so much. No wonder we've been waiting for four hours. To want to see Dr. Ike. I know she went for some um, occasions over there, but she mm -hmm. keep on saying, I'm still coming. I'm still coming. I'm I'm coming with my bag of surprises. <laughs> and truly, truly, this, are ba this is a bag of surprises. So let's mm -hmm. use this time to just clap for, yeah. and also to thank her so much. Dr. Alka Kuala. Thank Wala. you so much. Professor Dada. Thank you so Wala. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank you, uh, Hardiana. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. And to yes. everyone, everyone. Okay. Thank right. you for uh, Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, everyone. You. Yes, thank you. And we need to move on further because the last one we need to do. But before we go on, we want Ambassador Alion Ruffy to quickly yeah. to share call. with us. And then after that, we're going to launch another thing and then we will call it a day for today. Yeah, hello. So Ambassador hello, Aliyah hello. Rafi. Do you listen to me? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So first of all, I thank God for giving us lives and gathers us. <clears throat> thank you, God. And uh, then I congratulations to uh, YVC, all members and team for the third anniversary and then I congratulation to uh, for publishing on on publishing of the book relationship matters so congratulation all the authors and writers on uh, this occasion and I very thankful uh, to Dr. Queen Elizabeth and uh, Dr. Nelson Purvis who give us this opportunity to be a part of YVC can uh, CI and uh, I pray for all of the members and uh, doctors, bishops who teach us, motivate us and give us lesson of life and uh, teach us uh, about relationships. So God bless them. God bless you all. And thank you so much. Thank for you. Thank you so much, uh, Ambassador. And let me quickly say something about uh, Ambassador Alion Rufa. I've noticed in two or three of our events you've been showing, but there's one thing, something unique about you. You never give up. I noticed from your action, you. you never give up because this is not the time you've been trying to, even today now, for example, I've been seeing you've been trying to, uh, to connect. Even there was a time you've been using almost four devices to connect just because you don't want to give up. You want to be part of this. I've been seeing all through, but the only the reason why I didn't accept because anybody out there might be using your devices. Because when I saw four, I say, hang on a minute. I cannot accept four names. <laughs> I can only accept one or two. So, but but the reality of life, the, the, the truth there, the message or the lesson I learned from you is never give up. You never give up. I've noticed it here. I've also noticed it in our previous conference. So I want to say on behalf of YYCI, we appreciate you. 
Uh, you. Where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Pakistan. Okay. So yes. are you connecting with Bishop? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, I always uh, direct him and always okay. uh, he's also, okay. he and uh, his family, okay. they are also regular member of our church as well. Wonderful, wonderful, he, wonderful. Yes, uh, so do you know that you are, you are automatically ambassador for YYCI because you are part of us? So keep up the good works and we appreciate you and we keep on Thank working. You. We have the president, we have the vice president, we have the director and the more people are committed, then we can also appoint them new posts. So keep on because I can see your, 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 uh, your, uh, how do you say it? HSS or something? Where's my English teacher? Um, Ambassador Aika, what can we use there? The good words there? Uh, HSS or excitement or? Somebody to tell me what can I say? <laughs> hey, Professor Nada, all my English teacher. <laughs> yes, 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 we are here all. Yeah, so it's yeah. because our, our, our language is English. We don't yes, know Professor, other Professor, my. Actually, Professor, my mentor. So is it exercising or excitement? <laughs> or I want to. <laughs> Thank Professor, you so much. We really appreciate that. Thank you. The so Queen, much. you know what? Professor Nada will say you now five hours for I know I know five hours for yeah. five hours yes because you we are doing because nothing. because we didn't oh, no. lunch no we you didn't... need to, you need to stand I just said it right from the beginning that you need to stand up stretch yourself drink water go for your yeah. lunch breakfast dinner nothing go nothing. to church go to nothing. The... <laughs> I did say it right from the beginning, doctor. Please stand up, eat something, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, and doctor, oh, look at that precious, precious daughter joining us. Is that your daughter, Dr. Diana? Yes, this is yes. beautiful. Oh, she no. is yes. so beautiful. She looks like you. Oh, Hiya, oh, what's good. your name? What's your name? Aura. Her huh? name is Aura. Aura. Oh, oh, hello. We love you. Welcome. <laughs> Just okay. waiting. <laughs> yes, I know. Maybe he, he, she needs her food now. Eh? <laughs> she wants to go out. I think. Yes. So something like that. This is Sunday. Why not? Anyway, we release anyone to move on. Do whatever you want to do. Even if you are our moderator. You are still here. Uh, Dr. Edina has been here since 10 o'clock. Wow. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. We will try to round up now so that we don't go anymore so that we have enough time. I know that one or two uh, co-authors are joining us, but I don't know if, if you open your camera, then we will know that you have a very good uh, connection and we can call you in as well. But meanwhile, let's move on. Um, I want to quickly um, go, I mean, I want to quickly launch the last thing we are launching today. The reason why we are staying too long, we, uh, we launched the book, we interviewed the authors, we also launched the magazine. Okay. Now we want to launch another thing. So let's move on. But before then, where are we? I think we are here. Let's quickly show all the certificates for all our authors because we missed that. Relationships, they're the foundation of our lives. But let's face it, they can be tough. Conflict arises, emotions boil over, and maintaining a healthy connection becomes a challenge. What if we told you there's a book that can change it all? Introducing Relationship Matters, how to solve conflict, maintain and keep relationships, and manage emotions. This comprehensive guidebook, written by relationship experts, offers practical solutions to transform your relationships. Discover effective conflict resolution strategies that promote peaceful communication and understanding. Learn essential relationship maintenance techniques to nurture and cultivate strong connections with your loved ones. Dive into valuable emotion management strategies and regain control over your reactions. 
relationship matters has already helped countless individuals rejuvenate their relationships and find emotional well-being. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Get your copy of Relationship Matters today, available exclusively on Amazon.com. Change your relationships, change your life. Order Relationship Matters now. The package, this is the package that we are sending to all our international co-authors. On behalf of Yes You Can International, we are congratulating them for becoming the international award-winning co-authors. And we are also sending this package to them on a request, if they request it on email. My email will be elizabeth.lucas49 at gmail.com or yyci.academy at gmail.com. So please to all our authors, all our co-authors, please email me to get your package. And in that package, we have free ebook, your own book. That means the one that you contributed to could be first volume one or volume, I mean, volume two or three or four. So you will get your ebook. You can use it for your market. You can use it as a gift to your friends and family. You can also use it to generate income. So that is your ebook. The second one is YYCI Bookstar Award that we're sending to you. The third one is YYCI Certificate of Congratulations. And then the third one, which is very valuable to every of the author, and that is certificate, the certification of published co-author. That means that you are you have a certificate showing that your book has, is being published. So, and then we can give you the Amazon link which you can use to send to your friends if they want to purchase from Amazon, if they don't want to buy from you, or if they want to you to just direct them. We also have advanced authorship masterclass. So if you want to move from auto call, auto or co-authors to become your own author of your book, poem and stories and every other thing, then we have authorship, advanced authorship masterclass. So being a co-author of this particular book, we can now as I give you the 20% discount for the masterclass. Meanwhile, this package we are sending to you because of this third anniversary is actually valuable because if you want to do it before, or after this conference, you could have been paying $97. So this book, this free gift was given to all these co-authors, but it is worth $97. So congratulations for getting this free gift. Now let's show you quickly how it looks like. This will be your YYCI Bookstar Award, International Award Winning Co-Author. So you can see if you contributed to volume four, you will get it as volume four. If you contributed to volume two or volume three, and even the volume one, they receive their own during their own launching as well. Then you will get the certificate. Certificate, that's a congratulation from YYCI. And also the last one will be this special certificate. You can see your book color. I mean, you can see it. And you can see even a unique number is on that. And this one is certificate of published co-author. So thank you so much for contributing that. So let's move on. We've launched the magazine. And like I said, everyone will get this free magazine. On their post, in their post, or as request, wherever. Um, so let's move on to the last bit of today, the last program of today.
Okay. So I want to express our gratitude to this creative. Um, I want to express my gratitude to Professor Dr. Mary for sending us this creative, creative uh, flyer. I can do this. I can. A journal for motivation, planning, creativity, mindfulness, and gratitude. Um, yes, you can. So if you want to screenshot this particular thing, you can frame it, you can put it in your room to remind you that yes, you can. Okay, so permit me to launch our new, you will see that this one is totally different from the one we used last year. Last year, we combined both the award of Yes, You Can International together with Global African Queen Elizabeth Lucas on the second and we, we issue it to many people last year, many great, great leaders, both the members of K um, K members of YYCI and also all our leaders, world leaders out there that are impacting into other people's lives and also doing a great things, especially in humanitarian. So we decide this year that we're gonna separate the Yes You Can International Awards and uh, to, uh, we will celebrate it from African Queen Award because I will tell you more about the African Queen Award. So this particular one, as you can see, is the outstanding transformational leader. And we are going to give it to all our active members. You hear me correct? All our active members to show kindness for your, for your commitment and your dedication for your learning, development, and sharing together with YYCI and your participation in YYCI programs. This is also to express our gratitude. So all our active members will receive these best awards. Okay, right. But meanwhile, we have another certificate that will be sending to all everybody that have celebrated with us and every other members that are not active, but they are still with us. <laughs> you know what I mean. So then permit me to now show the special awards of the day. We have two special awards from Global African Queen Elizabeth Lucas, special awards. And this award is satisfied, is just to show appreciation to any leader out there, even within the YYCI, that are doing great things for humanity. That's why we have called the first one outstanding, best, and excellent in service to humanity. And this award. To, to put it in a short way, it will be O-B-E-S-H. Very special award. The next one also will be Mentorship Best and Excellent in Service to Humanity, M-B-E-S-H. And that one also will be given to some certain people. So some people will get it to their, through, through their email for uh, all the great works they are doing in the humanity. This particular award of Global African Queen Elizabeth Lucas is not going to be necessary be for all the members of YYCI. This one is outstanding and this one will be open to great leaders out there. It could be president of a country, it could be doctor, it could be lawyer, because we are watching what everybody is doing through the social media. And we will just surprise them and to encourage them to keep on doing what they are doing. Meanwhile, because of the time, I won't be able to show you one special video again about Global African Queen Elizabeth Lucas new initiative. And that is, we are establishing, we've started all the work already because so far so good. Uh, from our own pocket, we've sponsored almost 20 something, I mean, almost 20 um, individual. 
with a, a poor family that didn't have anything to even eat or drink, the widows and even the children. So we have sponsored in collaboration with a, um, another organization, uh, Liberate the Women in Abuja, Nigeria. We've collaborated and we have sponsored at least about 15 of the widows to start their own small businesses. We also have young, young, young families um, all across Nigeria, Syria alone, and Liberia. And we are also supporting them with the project. So when we now support, when we now establish this foundation trust, that will help us more, the way that will help us to do more to support any project of our youth out there, to support the poor families and the children, to support the widows, because it, probably some of them have to depend on the husband. Unfortunately, the, the breadwinner of the house is gone and they are struggling to support them as well, to also support our youths as well. Sometimes probably we have to arrange a scholarship for them. So these are all that will be in the next video, but we're not going to show it today. But meanwhile, as time go on, this kind of awards will also be awarded. We will award it to those people that are doing some connect, uh, contribution to that foundation trust. This is where I will end that video and that announcement. And thank you once again, for staying behind, staying patiently to celebrate this occasion. I will hand over quickly to all our share persons to open the floor and call on anybody on this platform that still want to speak. And after that, as Dr. Aika Mahaya lead all our share persons to call them one by one so that they can now give their feedback of the occasion. So, and after that, we will end today. You can see that even me too, I'm so tired. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna hand over to them to finish up our program today. Ambassador Afolabi, uh, you are still here. Thank you so much, sir. We really appreciate you. Professor Charles, what a great mentor mm -hmm. from the beginning to the end. Wow. Even mm -hmm. Professor uh, Ruben Garcia is still here. Wow. Wow. Bishop, you went, you came back. You are still here for five hours, as uh, Professor Nada have said. Wow. But the most, most liable, lovely person that started the whole thing, Dr. Edina. Thank you so much, Dr. Nada. Thank you so much, Professor Nad, um, Dr. Aika. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And even Dr. Joel, thank you so much. Now I'm going to hand over to you, Dr. or Professor Nada. Uh, okay, uh, now uh, we are, I'm still uh, watching, monitoring who is here. Uh, maybe uh, we can call uh, Godwin Asangane. Uh, he is our youth. So if he wants to share something today with us, uh, respected Godwin, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. You want to share with us today at this uh, occasion of the ceremony something from your side, please? Okay. Please, can you Thank open you. your camera? We want to see you. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, good afternoon from Nigeria. Good afternoon from Nigeria. I've been following the session, though today is Sunday, so in Nigeria we observe service. So. I'm just returning back from service to join the session briefly, but yeah. Happy um, Independent super... Day, Nigeria. Yeah. Happy. We... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us to celebrate. Thank you. Okay. 
I'm super excited too. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to join to this session. Yes, it was from the beginning, which was on Friday, Saturday, which was yeah. yesterday, and today, which is the wrap for today. I must thank the organizers for the Yes You Can International and celebrating the anniversary of the Yes You Can International is something that gives me joy. And being a member of Yes You Can International, I've learned a whole lot from our close group. And I must say thank you to everyone for the amazing things that you're doing. I must confess, Yes You Can International is a family. Yes, I've just, uh, Mom Elizabeth just made mention now they have been able to sponsor 15 videos because of a collaboration from Abuja firm to sponsor videos across Nigeria, Syria, alone. I've just mentioned some countries you've mentioned. Thank you, Ma'am Queen Elizabeth, for the amazing job you've done so far, knowing that the, the problems and challenges we are facing and coming in to the humanitarian service you are giving, and I must say, Lord, God will bless you deeply, and God shall take this foundation to the greater height, I believed. And I'm also thank each and every one of us that have been able to stay through because the joy I find in my service is second to none and is sequel to none. I'm so happy to be here from the first day that I didn't join that of yesterday, but I'm so happy to be here today. Thank you everybody for the time and thank you for having me as God blesses us. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear Godwin. We are really honored. We are grateful. We are happy when we see that you are happy, that uh, we are sending you a lot of love, appreciated that uh, because our great Dr. Queen, our great Queen of Africa, she's doing a very, very amazing work helping uh, your country, Nigeria, helping all around uh, Africa, uh, joining so many volunteering and humanitarian actions also everything now what she's doing giving the master classes everything she's doing without money so that can only do a person who has a big heart a great soul and our great dr queen is really that person so <clears throat> thank you godwin thank you dear godwin for your beautiful thank you, words. Thank, you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you man thank you i'm happy Yes, we are also, when you are happy, we are also happy. You see, we have all here a big smile. See your Professor Charles from Nigeria. His heart is uh, smiling. Professor Charles, am I right? Professor Nadia, I have been seeing Professor Charles is consistent, put smile on his face. Yes, it's yes. Really, it's whole time. He's smiling. I really amazed. <laughs> And you cannot see uh, nobody who is smiling more than Professor Charles because he he is clear. He has a clear, beautiful soul. So he can smile because this is making him happy. All this today and all what Dr. Queen uh, at we at IIU, always what we are doing is making him happy because he's the biggest humanitarian, Ferdiana. Professor Charles, please do you are want right. to say something. You are right. Yes. yes, I love that. It's yes. always good to smile. Eh? Irrespective of whatever stress it is, and eh? eh? whatever, you need to smile so okay. that you look stronger, you look healthier, <laughs> you look fine, you look nice. I want all those things. That is the why, <laughs> that is the reason why God created us for us to okay. be happy, for us to be loving, for us to be fighting. For people to be happy, that is it, and to be loving. Thank you very much. I love that. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Professor Nada. Professor Nada, uh, Doctor Edena, and Ambassador Doctor Aika. If you can open your camera, what you've been waiting for is here. Allow me. It's just yeah. getting ready for me mm. to give him his own surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you know what I want to talk about now, and then I will hand over. I will hand over everything to others. If uh, Doctor Ruben wants to speak today, has he spoken today already? He speak. He speak already, Doctor. Already, Ruben. okay. Yes. I believe that uh, um, everybody has spoken. Yeah. Everybody else uh, wants sorry. to speak again. So, on behalf, um, give me sorry, a uh, dear Queen. Okay. Uh, we have Alien and uh, uh, 
uh, his sister. So please, please. Um, okay, permit me because I can't see them here, but really once, once we finish this one, if they still want to quickly say something, we will call them, but we need to end this program now so that, I mean, we need to end this program so that I can release everybody. So, um, with the honor and I don't even know how to do it. I'm still tired, but I have to do this. Permit me to invite Dr. Aika, please open your camera. Um, Professor Simeon, please open your camera. This is a special occasion. They say, give honor to whom honor is due. I'm about to introduce a special person in my life that will give us a vote of thanks of this special occasion. Dr. Aika, are you still here? Ambassador Afolabi Timothy, are you still here? Yes, I am. Okay, can you open your camera, please? Dr. Aika, are you still here? Okay. Probably Dr. Aika is eating because she just come back home from a location. All right. I am, I am in a public domain. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, okay. So I'm trying to... Yes. I'm listening, but uh, to okay. open my camera here. Yes, because <laughs> Allow uh, me. you will be happy to see your papa right now. <laughs> okay. So uh, on behalf of Yes, You Can International, global uh, patrons and matrons and presidents and directors and ambassadors and coordinators and administrators of this uh, Yes You Can International, including all our new appointees, permit me to invite His Excellency, His Royal Majesty, King, Doctor, Ambassador Olufemi Lucas Afolalu, our new co-founder mm -hmm. of Yes You Can International. Yes, I know it's a surprise, but <laughs> here we are. So come and address and yeah. give our scope. Oh, mm -hmm. good afternoon. Good morning, good evening, whatever the country you are. What can I say? It's a big privilege for me to stand before you. As I've said yesterday that if not because of you, we can't do this thing because two people cannot do it. But with the belief that you have with my wife, the founder of YYCI, I really appreciate every one of you even those that came yesterday, before yesterday, everyone that has appeared on this platform to say one thing or the other. And I have that great belief that whatever individual have said, it will manifest in individual's life because they've come to, you know, to say good things, to express their gratitude and appreciation of whatever they have or whatever they believe. I really appreciate every one of you. And I pray that this is not going to be the first and the last. And when next time we are doing it, every one of us that present will be there again in the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I really appreciate every one of you. I thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. And I believe that whatever individual lays his hands on to do in your marital life, in your spiritual life, in your businesses, in your families, God Almighty, you know, we protect you we direct you and guide your way. And when you are doing greater things Amen. in your life, your you, when, your, your, when your children are doing greater things in their life, nobody is going to represent you. You will be there to celebrate Amen. with your family, with your children. Amen. I really appreciate Amen. it. Thank you very, very much. You know, it's a great thing. You know, it's another thing to call people and people may respond, people may not respond. If you have not responded, yeah, we may, we may do it, but it's, it may not have gone as far as it has gone. YYCI has come to stand. It has come to make its own 
Brandy, and every one of us that are present to do one thing or the other or to say one thing or the other, we really appreciate you. And we will never forget God in his mercy. We never forget the labor of your love. We thank you very, very much. We are going higher. We are from glory to glory. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Bishop, Bishop uh, Nelson. Nelson, thank you very much for the time we came to you in, in, uh, in London. We really appreciate all that you did then. We appreciate you, sir. Okay. And we celebrate. I'm glad. I'm glad that I can that see present. you again. Yes, we celebrate God. you. I pray for you. you. We thank you. Yeah. And uh, now, Dr. Aika, what can I say about you? You always be there. And you have been, us back I, from you know, today. you have back given us many off. things today and we really appreciate you. Where you are taking the money, the pocket will never dry mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. And from Jesus glory to glory. And, uh, and uh, uh, there will never come uh, Professor Nada from uh, Croatia and everybody. And, I'm uh, very sorry that I won't be able to mention every name. And uh, Dr. Diana, Diana Nevka. We appreciate everybody. Your brother. And, and, oh, my brother from Professor, Nigeria, Professor, Professor Shas. Happy Thank you very much. Day. Thank you. Happy Independence Day. Nigeria. Oh, you know, Nigeria. <laughs> we bless every one of you. We appreciate you. I we will never take whatever you have said here on this platform. We will never take it for granted because nobody is perfect and nobody knows everything or we learn from each other because a tree cannot make for us. And then my Professor, Professor Peter Ulishola. Uh, thank you very much, my my son Afolabi. Thank you very much for appearing, yeah, and uh, Professor, Professor Mary. Um, Mary. Thank you very much, uh, 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 Professor Ruben, Professor Ruben, Ruben Garcia. Garcia. Thank, thank you very you much, much. Olivia Ruby. Thank, thank you, you very much, much. Uh, Afolabi Timothy. Yes. We appreciate you. We glorify you, uh, Professor, we, we, Ed, 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 uh, Professor Edward. Thank we appreciate you everybody. Uh, Baba, thank you very, very much. We appreciate you. And we, we thank God for all that you have done. And it's, that is not going to be the, the first and the last. Where YCI will go from glory to glory, from FIFA to FIFA. And when we are doing it, and whatever you are doing to promote yourself, God Almighty in his finity mercy will promote you. And wherever you go, the favor of God will always continually resting upon your life. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that is our new co-founder of Wahoo ICI. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for today. I think uh, we need to end this program. With my dear queen time. i think if we were all if we were all in a hall right now if we were all together in a hall we would have all been standing and giving the loudest applause to our king <laughs> thank you so much now we need to finish off i keep on saying we need to finish up thank you thank you for all the signs this one yes we can <laughs> We are going higher. <laughs> <laughs> and Dr. Queen, no, be sure your husband joined co-founder. You will go more, more, more higher with him, I'm sure. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Actually, can we open up? Um, hold on a second. Let me see if we can do something so that we take a picture together on this place. Yes, everybody needs to open the camera. Ed, Dr. Ed, okay, we can we can make this first two uh, two rows because the last is not open. So we will cut them because they are not here with the photo. Okay, we will put them and then after that I will make without them. Okay, let me see if we can show in your. Oh, oh, oh no no. Yes. no. Okay. Please open your camera so you can be part of this picture. Okay, we have three not open camera I make, but I want a beautiful photo of you too. You <laughs> too. Okay. Oh, that that. So everybody take your screenshots. This is so important. 
please please stop talking and join because you you we can't see ah, you. Okay. So, okay okay try to be peace yes uh, wait, wait. oh i make it it will be beautiful okay. one more let me say something dr queen dr queen I lost Dr. Queen. We lost Dr. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I was scared where you disappeared. Dr. Queen, say something that I can catch you. Dr. Queen. Hmm. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. <clears throat> okay. And now okay. more. Okay. Oh, it's another side. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much that you've really joined us since uh, Friday. We've really had a good time. We launched our book. We launched all our books. We launched the magazine. And we also launched the awards. And everybody will be getting their awards and their certificate and a free magazine. Thank you so much for all our coordinators, my PA. Thank you so much, Professor Nada. Thank you so much, Dr. Ediana from Indonesia, Professor Nada from Croatia, Dr. Aika from India, uh, Ambassador Joel Olaniyo from Nigeria for hosting and share, sharing and moderating this great event. I love you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my Bishop, the patron and the president of Pakistan. Thank you, Bishop Dr. Nelson Pavas. Thank you also my personal lifetime uh, mentor, Professor Charles Eboria. Thank you so much, Professor Charles uh, no, let me put it this way. Senior Professor Charles Eboria from Nigeria, the Vice Chancellor of IIU. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Professor Mary, our new Vice President of South Africa. Thank you so much, our new uh, President of Peru, President Peru, Professor Ruben Garcia. Thank you so much, our new Youth uh, Director of South Africa, Ambassador Ashra, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all our participants, our celebrants, all of you. We wish, we love you so much. Dr. Edward, despite the fact of the health issue, will still join us yesterday and today. We appreciate you, sir. Um, Ambassador uh, Sonata Ghosh, thank you so much for joining us. Our son, Ambassador, uh, Advocate Soveo Afolabi Timothy, thank you so much. Um, His Royal Majesty Professor Simeon Peter Olushola Beleyi from Nigeria, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you also, Ambassador Alion Rufoy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And all other people that have joined us, thank Amen. you so much, Ambassador Godwin. Ansagani, are you from Nigeria or from Liberia? Where are you from? Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank Am you. Am I true now? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we can end this with a short prayer from Bishop Nelson and Professor. Charles, who we go next? Who we go first? No answer. <laughs> okay. Loving Father, we are very glad for your presence in our three day celebration of YYCI. 
Thank you for this beautiful anniversary days for celebration. Thank you for our founder and co-founder of Yes You Can International. Thank you for our moderators for their hard work. And thank you for all speakers, co-authors, all patron, matron, president, vice president, director, deputy director, and everyone who did a beautiful work in IT and other special work for my YCI. I pray for global peace and global healing. I am very glad that you were present in our whole meetings and whole celebration. And we are really blessed. We are really blessed, Lord. So bless our YYCI family. Give us wisdom, give us energy, give us knowledge so that we can work together globally. Thank you, Lord. Bless us, Lord. We need you, Lord. Make all of us instrument of your peace, Lord. Give us your power, power of love and blessing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 And finally, Bishop, I mean, Professor Charles. Charles. One way or the other, the internet just cut him off. <laughs> this internet, eh? May God forgive you. <laughs> this okay, this connection <laughs> just cut my mentor off. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Dr. Queen, I will, in the name of our great... Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yes. Charles, Professor Nada. I will, I will say for this end. Yes. So, uh, dear Lord, our gracious Father, thank you for making this three days yes. festival. As we depart, Lord, we ask you to be with us. You were always, now, yesterday, before day, and tomorrow. May your angels go before us and clear the way so that we can reach home all safely today at Sunday, continue our beautiful day. Thank you for the lives that you have prepared beforehand us to touch with your word. Thank you, our great Dr. Queen Elizabeth. God bless you for this three days, three years, and let us continue working together and growing together. Amen. 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 And let me Amen. surprise let Man. me surprise uh, 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 Professor Mary now that she is the vice president. Um, can you lead us in prayer in um, uh, uh, Allah, please? Oh, of course. Thank you so much for the honor. Audhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Rahmanir rahim. Maliki yawm al-deen. Iya kena abudu wa iya kena astain. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين صلى الله عليه وسلم i have just asked that allah guide us all on the straight path keep us all affirmed in his name keep us protected and safe in his glory and make sure all of us remain steadfast in all of our religious faiths so that we keep doing his work for his pleasure alone Thank you very much. Amen. 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 Like I said to you that Professor Simeon is also a pastor. Can you just drop a message of uh, prayer for us? I, I wish uh, Dr. Eike can also um, uh, do something, but I think he's she is gone at the moment. Okay, Pastor Peter Uh In the name of Jesus, I say thank you, Almighty, for the success of this three-year anniversary and book launch. We say thank you for the uh, team. Thank you for the success of the program. And may your name be glorified, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that this anniversary 
will never mark the end. We shall have many more years to celebrate gloriously and many success stories ahead. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Dr. Aika, I can Amen. see you are still here. All right, lead us in the spirit. Dr. Aika. Okay, I think it's the connection because I can see that she opened her. Okay, we've had all these great, great three days amazing days of launching, of celebrating, of our full laughter, the experience and the joyful and the celebration of birthdays, celebration of Independence Day in Nigeria. And uh, what else did we do? We had all our authors sharing their thoughts, their chapters. We also received so many surprise gifts especially today with four, because I counted it, one, two, three, four bag of gifts from our matron, Dr. Aika Mayaja. Thank you so much for those gifts. And we also want to thank the time, because time is also a gift. The time that all of you have spent, especially our great moderators, thank you so much, Professor Nada, Dr. Ediana, Ambassador Dr. Aika, and Ambassador Dr. Joel Olanio, thank you so much. Without you, I don't think I can do this because <laughs> it's not easy for six mm -hmm. hours. <laughs> to yeah. go in six hours. But you can, you do <laughs> almost so. Yes, 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 we can. can. Six hours is not easy. Yes. So I want to say thank you so much for this wonderful time. And here is 1.42 wow. a.m. Yes, yes, six hours. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Without wasting any much time, this over here in UK is 3.42, six hours journey right. that today. At Croatia, 4.42 is also, it's the yeah. same time, yes. Good. Dr. Queen, now the question is, will you press the button? Exactly, that's oh. the question <laughs> I want to ask. <laughs> yeah. Can I end? Yes, you can. This? Yes, you can. Allow me to finish my statement. <laughs> can, I, can I end this amazing three days, third anniversary, Thanksgiving, dedication, prayers, honors, <laughs> and uh, celebration events? of three days. Can I end it here today on the 3.43? Can I? No, you yes, can. yes, you can. can. Some people are not happy <laughs> yes, for me to end it. So I will yes, you can. Can I <laughs> end this program today? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, yes you so. can. I can see Ambassador Astra Noggin. Not, not, <laughs> it's not talking she's doing this. So that's partially, partially. I want to corporately, let's say it together. It's a powerful word, you know. Yes, you can. So can I end this program, this event now? Yes, no. yes, you can. Yes, you can. Our beautiful <laughs> Africa queen, yes, you can. You can. I still can hear ambassador because they are the leaders of this day, <laughs> of tomorrow and today. So let me try again. Can I end <laughs> this event now? Yes, yes, yes you, you can. can. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you all. Bye bye. Amen. God bless Thank everybody. You. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Thank you for your. Bye. God bless everybody. Bye.